recently, I posted this picture on Twitter and everyone started telling me that I looked like Jack Walton from the Walton Files. I had no idea what this was at the time, but I looked into it and it turned out to be one of the creepiest things I've ever seen in my life. What you're about to see is me being genuinely uncomfortable and a little bit scared of a fictional series on YouTube. That being said, if you do enjoy this, please feel free to subscribe. All the horror content I do over on Twitch ends up on this channel. So if you do enjoy, this is the place for you. So without further ado, this is my reaction to the Walton Files. Let's just start. Let's just start watching hey, the fucking Jack, Walton Files. Hey Jack, do you files. prefer Blur or Oasis? Blur all the way. Anyway. Yeah, captions are on. All right, be ready for this. Hi, and welcome to the introductory tape to your new job at Bunny Smiles Incorporated. You have applied to a job in technical support and maintenance. I would believe that. I used to be an IT support guy. It means that you, amongst other employees, are the one who will take care of creating a magical and fun experience for Bond's Burgers. Oh, it's literally like a FNAF thing. It's Bonds Burgers. Okay, like it's literally... Is it? Is it like a FNAF thing? I didn't realize it was FNAF. How? Why can I not escape fucking Freddy Fazbear? Freddy Fazbear got arrested. Do you see this shit? Look at this shit. I think so. No, move chat. You want... Okay, you want me... You want just me? You want just me in the corner? Sick. Um... No, look. Look at this shit. Right? Guys. Freddy Fazbear got arrested. Look. Oh, hell no. Freddy got arrested. That's why it's Bonds Burgers now, because Freddy went, got sent to jail. He was a bad brand image, so they made it Bonds Burgers instead of Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, because Freddy went to jail. That's how the Walton Files start. That's actually the, that's the beginning of the law. Anyway, let's carry on watching. Hip hooray, hip hooray, the sun has got his hat on. Hip, hip, hip hooray, the sun has got his hat on, and he's coming out today. Yeah, they're not fucking nice looking. I don't like the look of these. The fucking What's that about? Why is it I thought this was like the introductory video to the fucking company. Why has it just been singing for this long? I don't like it. Like, I feel like it, it'd be telling me like what my responsibilities are. How much is the wage? Do I get lunch breaks? Hey, are we unionized? They're not. Fuck off. No, why would you? These are the showstoppers. Bond, Shaw, Buzu, and Banny, a computer Ooh. animated band made by BSI to entertain children. Oh, the computer animated, okay. As a technician, you'll be given the role of a facility caretaker. <laughs> My name is you! Around this fun and magical journey, we'll work on certain tasks, such as cleaning protocols, robot maintenance and repair, and learning how to use BSI technology. Wait, are they computer animated or not? I don't get it. Wait, 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 because it said they were computer animated, and then, and then it was like, robot repair. I'm like, whoa, whoa, are they are they animated or are they fucking real? Alright, whatever. But first, here's a message from Jack Walton and Felix Kranken. Oh. Beloved found Which reads, in BSI, the most important thing to us isn't the money or the rating. The most important thing to us is that you have a wonderful experience while working with us. That being said, with the Bonds Burgers restaurant getting opened in a few weeks, we're looking forward to achieving this dream with you. Hey, mate. Oh. What the fuck? Oh, it's a storage facility. I thought it was like a fucking nuclear bunker. I'm like, what the fuck sort of universe is this? Also, the, their faces, like... Everything's just a touch uncanny. You noticed? Jack, your files. They're not my files! I'm not Walton. I'm not him. I'm not him. His face was a bit crooked. My face is normal. Look at my face. Symmetry. Lovely. His face did not have any of those things. He had a weird, crooked little face that made me feel kind of sick. Right? It's in Poland. The bunker's in Poland. Cool. Go Poland. You got the creepy fucking animatronic bunker. Well done. Good for Poland, I guess. Ooh. 
Alright, that's some backwards message. What does that shit say? I'm not gonna... Chat, does anyone know what that says when you reverse it? That was some backwards message. Does anyone know? Make it backwards. I can't. YouTube player doesn't go backwards. I'd have to download the video and like, you know. You finally start to remember, apparently it says. Okay. Okay. Let's see what this is. Bunny Smiles Incorporated cartoon. Wait! Brighton! I live there! Oh, fuck off! Why would you put my- It fucks me up that like, it's like- I know this is like, obviously just a coincidence, but like, there's that little part of my brain that's like- It's like that weird horror of like, the screen knows me. You know what I mean? It's like, it fucking knows where I live. That was weird. That fucked me up. Like, it <laughs> imagine I just had my fucking address on the door. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you're watching it and you're like, why is my town there? It's like, it feels like if I watched it on my old town, it'd say it as well. But yeah, no, I know. I, I, I get it. it's just a coincidence. Fuck. Fuck though, man. It's a brand new day in Little Bond's neighborhood and a really special one for sure. Why? Little Bond has been waiting all day for his friends to arrive. All right. He is planning to have a sleepover with them. He and sleepover. Nice. For the perfect movie night with his friends. For this sleepover, he invited Shah, Boozoo, and Billy. Let's check again. Oh, you're creepy as fuck, Billy, mate. While you. invited Shah, Bozu, and... Oh, yeah, that's not nice. Oh, that must be them. Now that that's not nice. Arrived, I that was a bloke. That was a man. That was a human again. man. Bond spent all his money on a really funny movie, which he hoped... Oh, he's weird! Fuck off, mate! You look like Snape if he was all weird. I guess we can say they had a blast of a type. I don't like the music and shit. Jack behind you, fuck off, mate. Yeah, now this is creepy as fuck. I'll be honest, this is weird. That's the thing about this, it's not jump scares and shit, it's just eerie as fuck. He's gonna be staring or something. Oh no no, no. he's got a, he's got an eye mask. Alright. Sick. It's alright. He's sleeping. Snoozing. Oh. Kitchen noises, alright. What's happening, mate? Bon. Wowzers. Oh, okay. All right, so Jack Walton is missing. Right, okay. Jack from Brighton is missing. Oh lord, oh lord, oh lord, oh fuck, oh fuck, it's fucking, this, why did you make me watch this? Twitter fucking set me up, they told me I looked like it and I watched it. Whoa, hold on. What the fuck was that little creature that showed up? Oh, it's, oh, it's a fr creepy fucking Bon, and then Sophie, who the fuck is Sophie? Alright. Wishing you luck, Mr. Manifold. Cheers, I'm needing it. Okay, so Jack Walton. So he's like one of the co-owners, right? He's one of the co-owners, and then he's been missing since the 80s. Right? Okay, just making sure. Just I'm just making sure I'm understanding through my fucking... Because it's like, this is my favorite type of horror. The shit that's just like, it's not jump scares and shit. It's just unsettling. It's weird. No, oh, yeah. Nah, this is the shit that... Oof, makes me like, want to do this, you know? Like, squeeze myself. You ever want to squeeze yourself? I want to squeeze myself right now. I'll turn it up because it's really quiet. Oh, 
but <laughs> that's the prime Hannah. But they gave me this weird location. Or somewhere in a forest, I think. Well oh, that's okay. weird. And I've been driving for twenty minutes. And I can't find a place. I made it to the location, I think. Oh, the camera quality, man. Anyway, so Chris told me this place had been working since about Oh, the storage bunker in Poland, okay. Oh, he's in there. Three months. Smiley face. Just the three months. Okay, seems fine. Seems okay. Okay. Oh. Don't move about when we've not asked you. Oh, I hope. Okay, that, that was kind of goofy. That's some Sonic EXE shit. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's some Sonic EXE shit, bro. Don't look at me like that. You're goofy as hell right now. Ah, uh, yeah, I was... Come on, bro. What was that thing? Oh. Oh, that... What that was... What was what, what was that thing? Little F-N-A-F fellow. Hey, noted. Alright. Those two little eyes... What's going off? Oh, it is. He's pogging! He's pogging! Stop pogging. That was not pog champ. A man died. Creepy little grin. No, you're weird. You're creepy, mate. Calm it. Come on, settle down. It's, it's a big fan of, like, just distorting faces and shit. I can't feel anything. Why not? He thought I was her. Who? Oh, I just got that FNAF lore. Shit. I gotta start thinking. Alright, guys. Put on your game theory hats, because we're about to map pat in this bitch. Where's the Pope? I've got an Undertale key, and he's gonna use it, alright? My name is Brian Stells, and I work as a facility caretaker. Oh, Brian was the guy who got smushed up. Right? That looks roughly like that same... Yeah, okay, so Brian got smushed up. I assume Brian was the guy in the car with the camera, is my guess. And her, I guess, is Sophie. Just judging off the fact that it's the only female that we've been introduced to for that brief moment. Weird, alright. Why would this be the company introductory tape? They're like, hey! Welcome, 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 welcome to our uh, Bonds Burgers, the one, the, the, like, you know what I don't get, you know what I don't get, Bonds Burgers, supposedly, supposedly, that is what I'm gathering, is just like a one pop-up shop with some animatronics, they've got a TV show though, so maybe not, but they've also got a storage facility out in the middle of fucking nowhere, um, they've got a lot of shit for just like a burger place, you know, and then, Six months. The, the owner goes missing. That's gonna be some William Afton shit. It's gonna be like some like purple guy like <laughs> Markiplier, you know. Um, keep watching. It makes more sense. All right, fine. All right, fine, fine. No, no, I'll, I'll. Freddy's is a pizza place, but like, like by the end of the FNAF law, like, um, like it's been bought out by a giant fucking corporation because they make games about it. Because they're like, all the stories in this place is great, you know. It's really good, though. It's intriguing me. But, like, I must admit, 
Loki, when it pulls out like Sonic, e you know, like remember Sonic EXE? Hold on, let me let me pull up like a Sonic EXE clip. Um, remember Sonic? <laughs> Fucking Mark. Yes, yeah, watch the Markiplier video. Whoa. Hello, everybody. My name is Markiplier, and, and I'm gonna drink a big tall glass of milk. Anyway, where is it? This shit! It was like- it was kind of like this. <laughs> okay. Once again, I can't do anything. Yay! <laughs> Yay! Oh, hi! I am God. You are 2012 Markiplier. You truly are. Anyway. But yeah, that- that shit's kind of goofy, you know? Like, I- I can't get behind that. Also, there's an ad starting in the next 20 seconds, which I've now stalled for the next five minutes because I didn't give you guys enough warning. However, in five minutes time, will be an ad. There will be an ad in five minutes time, so if you do want to avoid them, feel free to subscribe. Anyway. It's made in 1978. Okay. 1978. It's just a weird- Sorry, that was what I was talking about. It's a weird company introductory pro like tape, wasn't it? I feel like that tape's got to be have been written over or something. Like, that was weird. It was like, welcome to the company. Here's your responsibilities. Here are our lovely animatronics. Here's a cartoon we do, which I don't know why you'd show them one of the cartoons. Here's one of our employees driving around. It's a very weird set of, like, things to mesh into company introductory tape. It's like, welcome to the company. Your responsibility will be fixing the animatronics as you're an IT tech guy. You're also going to be helping make the animations. Here's the animatronics. Here's the animations. By the way, in this animation, a fucking killer animatronic shows up right at the end, and then we cut to real life footage where a man dies. Just so you're aware, we don't fuck around here at, at Bonds. So, you know, mate. Make sure to turn the captions on. They're on, don't we? Why is Bond thick? Damn! He's got the cheeks. He's got the thighs. He's thicked up. I won't even- I'm, I'll give you that. I will- I will give you that. Also, why is he animated with the, like, metallic endoskeleton arms and legs? Like, surely he got that in a state of disrepair. Surely he didn't look like that to begin with, right? Also, thank you to all the people that just subbed to avoid the ads. Appreciate it. Crowd Couple Gate, Ashley Sombrero, Astronomy. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Anyway. We'll carry on playing. I just like to talk about it as we go along. Bunny Smiles Inc. That bunny do smile in a very eerie way. That's me waving at him. Hey, mate. Down bad? I didn't even Blasphemous HD that shit. I could have fucking... I could have like... I am... What's his name? I was about to say, I could have fucking like done a speed and been like... Like start going up and behind Chica and going, <laughs> you know, you know, you've seen, you've all seen Speed or oh, Blasphemous HD. Remember ba Blasphemous HD? Why was everyone in like, like, eh, why is there always one FNAF Let's player who's thirsting over the animatronics? May, may, did Markiplier ever stoop? I don't know, but like, hey, look under your table. Ah, ah. There's a teddy bear. There's a teddy bear under there because I keep one. This guy is the killer. I just, there's always a teddy bear under there. That's where he chills. My boy. Anyway. So you didn't scare me, bitch! Alright? Because I know there's a bear down there. I expect a bear. That ain't Freddy Fazbear. That's my boy. Anyway. Yeah. Uh, I can't remember what I was going to say now. Let's just carry on. I got distracted by the fact that someone told me to look under my table. Okay. It, the, uh, let me just refresh. See if the captions will work. Relocate project. Alright, that's interesting. Man, I fucked the shit out of that robot. <laughs> it's my favorite blast. Flavorous. I can't speak today. I've had the problem all day. I've got like brain fog. It's a blasphemous HD quote. He said it. Blasphemous HD said it, not me. She's such a bad bitch. <laughs> You've all seen the clip. He's like, she's such a bad. He like screams. He's like, ah! I can't scream. My, my voice is gone. You've all seen it. You all know what it is. Hello. The She's such a bad bitch, though. That's what he says. The tape that will change the future of the Bond's Burgers brand and the Bunny Smiles company for the. We right. Okay, I'm pulling up the clip. He go. He screams. He goes. Ah! And he goes. She is such a bad bitch, though. I fucked the shit out of that robot. That's what he says exactly, word for word. 
Blas Blasphemous HD FNAF 2. This. She is such a bad bitch, though. I will fuck the shit out of that robot, man. I'm not even. <laughs> He, found, he laughed at himself at the end. He became self-aware right towards the end. At least he's better than Speed. Speed commits. Right. After four long years of legal paperwork, we finally decided to use our backup plan, which we created after the tragic closure of Bonds Burgers back on July 20th, 1974. Oh, so Bonds Burgers closed. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, we now present to you the Relocate Project. Jack and Speed collab. Hey. If Speed wants to play FNAF with me, fuck it. Bring Ben along. I'm down. I actually don't know if I'm down. Speed feels like kind of a liability. No offense. I feel like you're gonna say some shit, bro. I feel like you're gonna get me banned. He, he, Speed got himself banned from Twitch, you know. Wait, I can't have- Speed's banned from Twitch. Can't have him on stream. What am I talking about? Never mind. Fuck you, Speed. Sorry. I love you, man. No, I don't. Fuck you. You got banned. Before we go into details, we want to greet all the new Bunny Smiles employees. With the company greeting out of the way. Let's start analyzing the relocate project by checking what has happened ever since the closure of Bonds four years ago. As many of you might have known from previous dates, our beloved entertainers were safely secured in St. Juana's storage facility some months after the restaurant's closure. This is very FNAF. What happened? Why did it go dark? Did something show up on screen? Oh, that face there is like the fucking missing poster one. That's weird. Do we ever see the face? No, prior to that point we don't. Okay, weird. Interesting. Captions, they are literally on. Like, literally they are on. I can't... They, they... Oh, maybe the English... Or... Oh, okay, we're gonna have to use English auto-generated. Sorry. We're gonna have to use the auto-generated auto because they weren't working for some reason. Now present to you the relocate project. But before we... So we'll wait a second. We'll wait a second. We'll wait a second. We'll wait a second. We'll wait for the ad enjoyers. We'll wait for the ad enjoyers to uh, think. Subs, we're just gonna chat about it for a second. We'll wait. We'll wait. We'll, we'll restart. I didn't realize the ads had started. Right. Why he purple? I think he was gray. Actually, I I, I saw him as gray. You're the only one that waits. Yeah, I could, but look, there's a lot of people here today, and ultimately they're gonna miss out on some like needed context. So I'm not gonna do that to them. So, uh, yeah, we'll wait, we'll wait, we'll wait, we'll wait. Ad enjoyers, you're welcome. Anyway, um, imagine not being subbed, though, for real, for real. You get to miss out on so much of my best takes. My best takes come now. For example, I think that... TWF hijack love ya. Thank you, I appreciate it. I saw a take on Twitter earlier, actually, that was that, um, back in the day when the commentary YouTubers like Scott the Waz used to have, like, fucking intense lore. Like, you, you know, like, you know, like, Scott the Waz, like, people like that would have, like, like, they'd have lore where it's like, my arch nemesis is forcing me to review Super Mario Sunshine. Like, they, you know, like, <laughs> angry video game nerd and shit. And I just find that really funny. Like, I just, I, 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 I fucking miss that era of YouTube where, like, YouTubers would have like lore. <laughs> this type of horror is the best for sure. Oh, this is this is sick. Like it's a little bit creepy pasta, Sonic EXE type beat, and uh, it makes me cringe a touch at times. But overall, it's kind of cool. I'm enjoying it so far. I'm enjoying it so far. Everyone's coming back now. Welcome back, ad viewers. You're almost done. A few of you are still going though. Evie, thank you for the uh, sub. I do appreciate it. Same as T-Rex. Appreciate that as well. Hey, everyone's back. Welcome back from the ads, everybody. Uh, of course, if you don't want to watch those again, it'll be back in an hour's time. We've got way more of an hour worth of Walton Files to watch. So, if you don't want to have to miss out again, because I may not pause next time, then, uh, you know. You know what I might do? You know what I may, in fact, do? I may, in fact, go sit. Here, yeah, anyway. Right, the Walton Files. Let's get back to it. I was just saying, I was talking about old YouTube, but it's fine. That take's gone. It was, it was an, it was a sub exclusive. I've got the uh, captions on now, so we're gonna start again because a lot of people miss what was said because the captions weren't working. You 
need normal captions, not auto-generated. No, the normal ones don't work on this one for some reason. I tried, they just will not work. Like, watch. Everyone wave! Everyone- uh, Guys, everyone wave at, uh, Bun. Bun. Everyone wave at that guy. Hello. Yeah, it's not working. You see? Doesn't work. BSI members and employees, and welcome to the tape that will change the future of the Bond's Burgers brand and the Bunny Smiles company for the better. That's, That's right. huge. After four long years of legal paperwork, we finally decided to use our backup plan, which we created after the tragic closure of Bond's Burgers back on July 20th, 1974. Ladies and gentlemen, we now present to you the Relocate Project. But before Sounds we big. go into details, we want to greet all the new Bunny Smiles employees. With the company greeting out of the way. Guys, we'll wave again, we'll wave again, hi. ...the relocate project by checking what has happened ever since the closure of Bonds four years ago. As many of you might have known from previous dates, our beloved entertainers were safely secured in St. Juana's storage facility some months after the restaurant's closure. Okay, so the restaurant closes and they're aiming to fix the brand image for whatever reason Later it closed. Because, like, this implies that the brand image has gone down the shitter. Business opportunities appear, such as books, merch, animated movies. We even got a TV show. Oh, That's never mind. Felix Kranken had the brilliant idea of restore and reprogram. Wait, 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 wait. So it closed and they got better. Because it said it's going to change, like, the fucking Bonds brand. But it sounds like the Bonds brand's doing just fine. They don't need the fucking burger joint. They got a TV show, books, movie. Like, fuck, if I had a TV show, I wouldn't want to make a fucking burger joint. No offense. And the robots of Bonds burgers with the purpose of relocating them in a new restaurant that would be opened in a not-so-distant future. A pretty smart plan, right? Making enough money to eventually reopen the Bonds burgers restaurant is no doubt a brilliant idea. Surely you have enough money off of a fucking TV show. That's what I don't get. So let's give it The captions are extra law. Yeah, but they're not working and people can't hear. Like, again, I can try switching back to him, but for Felix Kranken, a man with not only a giant brain. Yeah, it doesn't work. Like sorry, I'm sorry, it doesn't work. Oh, this is Felix. Okay, that's Felix Franklin. That's Ooh. 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 Is that the one where is that is that me? Is that me from Twitter? Is that the Twitter picture? Giant brain, but also a giant heart. Is that the Twitter me? I assume that's that. Fuck. Stop calling in the manifold files. It's me. It's not me. Don't yep this. Don't yep this. I just because it's wrong. Jackpat. Y guys, what can I say? I, I'm Jeffy Pathru. Um, isn't I know his name is Jack Walton. I'm Jack Manifold, mate. Let's not get it mixed up. My smile is nowhere near that creepy. My smile is charming and handsome, as you can see. That's weird. Face in the background. Yeah, that is fucking freaky. There's a face in the background there. That's fucking terrifying. Oh, that actually makes me feel quite uncomfortable. Didn't like that at all. Reprogramming. You need some fucking reprogramming of your facial expressions, mate. Fuck off. Mouth. Mouth is a pre-locate feature, however... Uh, oh, well, the fucking subtitles are in the way. What did that say? The mouth is a, is a pre-relocate feature, however, it still requires checking since the reprogramming could have affected this feature. Okay. Blink. This feature is brand new, relocate project exclusive. Employees must always clean the eye sockets. A dirty eye can affect the blink feature. Okay. So they can blink now. Fun. God, it feels like it's building up to something. She's been blinking too long. Annoyed slash bored. Yeah, kind of. I see that. Roughly. Oh. Pog champing. That's she's just got at least five Twitch primes. Good for you, Bunny. Looking for friends, customers. Why does it get loud? Oh, it's loud as fuck. Wait. Oh. 
the eyes are going to like stop on me, aren't they? They're going to like look directly at me. Oh, no. Okay. Oh, what the fuck? Oh. No, it's, this one's creepier than the first one for some fucking stupid reason. I don't like it. Why did I decide to watch this in the fucking dark? Oh, okay. Did you spot someone? What the fuck was that? What was that? What was the way? Why is there like a face in there? Ooh, that face was creepy. What the fuck? The rabbit is starving. The rabbit is starving. The rabbit is starving. The rabbit is starving. Oh, this is this is awful. Is starving. I get it. The rabbit's starving. Just fucking leave, bro. Leave. The rabbit is starving. Doors don't teleport you. That is fucking. <sighs> Jesus fucking Christ, man. This sucks. I don't like the fact that I'm in the dark by myself. I'll be honest. I, I it, this is actually a little bit uncomfortable. It's also really loud. Okay, so the rabbit. So so, it's looking for friends. There's a fucking face inside of it for some reason, and then it it it's trying to escape, but it can't because it's starving. Right. Oh, this is not fucking pleasant. Oh, hello. Yeah, this what this this tape is way worse than the last one. I don't know why this one's so bad. Oh. Okay, this is again Sonic EXE. The Sonic EXE shit doesn't work with me. Oh, missing. Someone else is missing. Susan. Susan something. I have a question. Hold on. I just have a weird feeling that the subtitle is going to show something in a second. Don't she's such a bad bitch though, this one, alright? She is not. No, she's not. No. 74, Susan Woodox disappeared. I assume that's the woman whose face we just saw inside all that. All right. Cheers for the prime. Means a lot, Storm. That's the cartoon. Lovely. Yo, Jack Manifold Chief! Yes! My brand, my brand, my brand, my brand, it's here. Huge. Slay indeed. That's a king right there. Welcome to technical support. All right, maybe a queen, never mind. Today we will focus on the area tour and orientation inside K9, the bunny smile storage facility. We recommend all facility caretakers to have all needed equipment in hand and to always wear the purple guy, purple guy, purple guy. Um, but most importantly, all of you must always, under any circumstance, use your BSIID card. Once you have all the necessary. Okay, that's Brian again, the guy who died in the first one. Sorry, hold on, let me. Oh. Okay. Equipment at hand. We are ready to go. Hello. I see you made it to the storage facility. Oh, this is the guy who died at the storage facility in the first one. Okay. I bet you must be very excited and nervous to start working here. But let's stop and think. Do you have all the necessary items for your job tasks? Oh, no, I thought let's see. so. Let's put on a nice backpack and start packing some items. Okay. Let's check the items you will require for your job at K9. Lantern. Check. Snacks. Check. Key. Check. Camera. Check. 
It's weird that they require them to have a camera. Oh. Oh, fuck off, mate. Fuck off. I don't like him at all. His face popping up freaks me the fuck out. Wow, fucking. it's pretty dark here. You should turn on the light. Turn on the light. Turn on the light. Turn on the... It's important to keep track of which rooms you enter. This place can be really tricky and you could get lost very easily. This is the resting room. In this room, you can sit down, rest, talk with co-workers, you name it. All right. Remember to always treat this room as clean and organized as possible. A clean environment helps to get tasks done faster. A dirty environment only makes your job harder to get done. That, that, that's, that's good advice. Nothing wrong with that. Oh, where, why is she fucked off? Oh, okay, a little figure showed up in that room. Jesus Christ, this is awful. This actually sucks. All right, this is the main hall of the place. In front of you, you will find three doors. These are storage areas. The first door is used to save any kind of cleaning items and supplies. The second door is used to save a kind of prizes and merch that was available in a Bond's Burgers restaurant. Mm. The third door is used to hide... Okay, the th we we won't talk about the third door. It's okay. Thank you for that sub. For two months, there was more backwards talking. Does anyone know what the backwards talking is? I, I I'm not gonna reverse it. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna let chat. Someone will know. Does anyone know the backwards talking? Don't thirst over Shah. It's weird, man. She's saying, oh, okay. Rosemary would go into the restaurant every night hoping that her beloved husband would reappear after being missing for weeks with no response until one day she heard a voice saying, I know it. I know where she is, Rosie, from the backstage. Interesting. Okay. As you can see, this is the room where we storage more important items such as stages, tables, arcade machines, and birthday props. Mm -hmm. Now, please follow me to the next door. In the Bond Burger restaurant, remember to avoid touching or shining lights with our robots unless you are a facility technician. Now, let's move on to the next room. That was very brief. Don't leave me in there with them, please. Oh, what's wrong? I remember we visited this room already. Oh. Sophie, where am I? Sophie. By the time the lady entered the backstage, as the voice told her to, missing husband wasn't there. Instead, she found a rat. Sophie is. This girl now? Here? What's her name? Was she Susan? What's her name? Oh, yeah, 923. Where's this? No, she's Susan. Okay, so, wait. Right? She's Susan. Was that Sarah? Okay, no, that might be Sarah, actually. No, Sarah, that is Sarah, I think. As the voice told her to, missing husband wasn't there. Okay, I'm just curious. I'm just trying to put things together. Rose Broken will fix you. You will be beautiful. You will be beautiful. You will be beautiful. Oh. Oh, that's not a good way to end up. Oh, and then they put her in... When she woke up, she looked beautiful. I, she, wow! I mean... I think it, I think that's because it is, in fairness, though. Like, uh, let's just be honest about it. I think every part of her body probably was bleeding a little bit because she got cut up into... Bits. Okay, so she also went missing. Right, okay. Alright. That was the FNAF sound effect. Okay, it's funny. What's this? Following footage was recorded on July. I I'm so hyped her watching this. Ten months. Thank you for ten months. I am I'm I'm not liking it. That's Rosemary, okay. Following footage was recorded during July nineteen seventy eight. 
uh, seven, uh, the what, 12th of July to the 14th of July, on which three Bunny Smiles technicians wanted to stay three days in the BSI storage facility for the purpose of reprogram the animatronics in order to execute the relocate. Okay. Oh, the, the employee left to right are Hillary B, Ashley P, Kevin W. Next footage shows the three employees restoring the Bonds Burgers 1974 animatronics. What was that first comment? Sorry. What? What? Does, oh, cases. What does that mean? Oh, which is what we just so, yeah, saw. Yeah. Some hours after that, the case was reported. Residents decided to close the doors, probably because authorities needed to check the place or something. And Shah's inside. What's weird about this is that the last day Bonds was open, they only let like one or two families in. And they mentioned later that the animatronics, like the entertainers, were completely absent and the currents were closed. Well, that's odd. Huh. This forest reminds me of the movie, the, uh, it's actually Chainsaw Man. Lovely, that's, yeah. Don't you think I should take some time? I mean, we gotta move on with the others soon enough to finish everything by Friday. I mean, yes, but I think we should make them look as new as possible. That's the point, that's the point of this whole project, right? I mean, um, I think we should restore yes. as much as we can, but mm -hmm. right? Yes, but... If we keep releasing all these small details, the reprogramming of the robots won't be finished. Hey, Kevin, I thought we could add the blinking eyes feature on this one. I thought it's a really damage. I'm also asking if someone did this intentionally. Ooh. There's all these golden assistant stuff were made after the closing. What do you mean? Well, the place closed down, so we're going to catch the company who created the robots, how to revise them after noticing a good amount of irregularities. Like, I don't know if it's going to be a good amount of irregularities in them. Okay. During the process, they probably did this mess to get to the end of sales. Good night, guys. Ah, uh, it is so cold in this place. Look at this key. What? Have you noticed how the company gives us this tiny key but never mentions its purpose? You're just overlooking that. I mean, why would they give us a key with no use whatsoever? That is a bit weird. I, I figured the key was to get in. Pretty interesting. That's Maybe, weird. But we're, uh, running out of time. You should focus on finishing these robots by tomorrow. Right. Good night. Okay. Oh. Hello. This will probably be the last party today. Really? So, yeah. Alright, sick. Bad news. Your programming page was unsuccessful. Why? A lot of inconveniences when we tried to restore the robot. Some damaged parts in the end of the skeleton models made it impossible to add the new features. And let's not forget the fact that we didn't have enough time to end the project. Yeah, we hope we can go back with better equipment and a better deadline. As Hillary said, we're begging the company to allow us to return to a more organized plan. But for now, this ends the reprogramming phase for the uh, uh, re re relocation project. And log. Well, Alright. So it didn't work. They couldn't reprogram them. Hey guys, this is Ashley. I am using the camera because I am planning to buy her. Oh, the fucking hell, Ashley. Why did you do that, love? Come on, you didn't have to. This is fucking. You remember that? You know that, you know that catchphrase? You know that, that simple little phrase? Curiosity killed the cat. Ashley is the cat. Ashley's a cat. I was just going to you guys once you wake up. I know you guys told me not to wander around, but I genuinely think this small key could be a lifesaver. In what sense? Do you mean a lifesaver? Oh, the back rooms. It's been a while, but I realized the key leads to this door. They have a back doors. It seems like a small area, so I'll just go take a little peek, see if I can find anything interesting, and then go back. Simple. Oh, that's the the. This is used to store, and then it cuts off. You remember that bit where she's like, she like Shah's telling you what all the doors are. She's like, this is used to store, and then it cuts off, and she just cries. Yeah, I'll just try and peek around the doors and see what's inside. There are a ton of empty rooms with boring stuff. I came across this door, which uh, which was open. Kind of weird. Anyway, this room seems to have some spare endo pieces, and from the looks of it, some unused animatronics, I guess. I won't go into detail about what I find since I'm in a rush, of course, and. 
Place is a bit scary. I agree. Oh. Room number 26 or 27, I, I think. Um, as you can see here, there are some uh, spare heads. Nothing I interested in to be on. Oh? Ah. What the fuck? What the fuck? What? Oh. Who are you, mate? You're big. Oh, you're, re you're really big. Yeah, this is um, bizarre. I can't really tell if this body is a robot or a puppet, but like, you know, why is it hanging on the wall? This is... Really weird. Right. Oh, Bill. Hi, Bill. This is the last door. I am. I've never seen this clown thing before. It's really, like, there's absolutely no way I'm getting close to that thing. I'll probably wait till you guys see this video and come down here with me so we can take a close. Yeah, you're weird, mate, Bill. Um, I found this. I'm pretty sure that clown thing had a cassette player installed. So oh, so you are going to go near it. Uh, Trying to see what this whole thing is. I don't really know why this dude has cassette player thing installed. But my guess is oh, so he's got a bulge boy. Why? Look, look. I, look I'm not gonna. I, I've changed my mind. I'm not gonna speak about this anymore. For birthday parties, like you know, play a customized tape or something. I don't know, but we're about to find out. Oh, it's happy birthday, okay. I don't like the fact that my name is Jack. The thing just said my fucking name. Like, I'm on edge and it goes, Jack. I'm like, fuck off, mate. It's really loud as well. It's like loud as fuck. Let's turn it down a little bit. Just a little bit too loud. You shouldn't say my name. I know it's talking about Jack Walton, but like, don't give a shit. <laughs> that face kind of goofy. I'm guessing she is dead. I'm gonna guess that it killed her. Oh, hey, Bell. What did he just say? What did Billy just say before we carry on? What did Billy just say in reverse? Just out of curiosity? What did Billy say? Hey, any Billy enjoyers? What did he say? He's not rapping. No, I don't think he's rapping. No, I don't think he's rapping. No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have a guess. I reckon that's what he was doing. Uh, I reckon he wasn't doing it. He said get Bill zoned. Right, uh, thank you. What the fuck did he say? Someone said, and Ashley was never seen again. Don't say he was rapping. He said, subscribe to Jet Manifold. Okay, true. Guys, use your primes. He said it. And go subscribe to the YouTube. Exclamation point YT in the chat. <laughs> We're going to upload soon. Oh, it's, is it her? Or is that Jack? Oh, what was that? Okay, hold on. Wait. We've got a lot to look through, everybody. Turn on subtitles. They are on. Um, they are on. Don't worry. Um, okay, hold on. Playback speed. We're going to go half speed. Okay, we're going to have to go quarter speed. Hold on. We are going to see what that says. That's what the point- someone just put that as what the point- If you are implying that Dream looks like that, you are fucked up, mate. Dream- What do you mean that's what the point- That's sick. My god, that is- it, it's so short. Hold on. Oh my god, that's so quick. Hold on. There we go. 
They left the next day. They thought Ashley left early, but she was in the back doors, screaming as much as she could, but no one heard her screams. The following days, the caretakers would complain about an awful smell coming from the back doors. The company decided to shut down the facility until new advice, the relo pro um, until new advice, the relocate project was unsuccessful. Ashley's still there, but she is not screaming anymore. She saw something she wasn't supposed to see, and now she's beautiful, she's beautiful, she's beautiful, she's beautiful. I see. I wear a mask with a smile. And she really does. She is smiling. She is smiling. Oh, wait, what? that was a YouTube link. That's a, that's a YouTube link. That's a YouTube link. I know a YouTube link when I see one. That is a YouTube link. Hold on a second, everybody. Jet Manifold has spotted a YouTube link. Oh, wow, that was... I actually paused that on cue. Holy shit. Okay, hold on. Let me do it in a different tab and drag it over. Uh, YouTube dot... No, no, it's youtube.be slash k07 is it cap sensitive? I have no idea. K07 T Q Q Ten months. E D I am to good. O F Q. Ooh, it is a video. And it's unlisted. Hey! Go on. It's not in the playlist. All right, it's in the playlist. Fuck, well, I've wasted my time here. Well, you know, hey, at least I did it. You know what? I'm proud of me. Maybe it is in the fucking thing, but I'm proud of me. All right? I'm proud of me. For doing that. Don't. What? I feel like I've been shat on. I feel like I've been... Oh, is it done? No, I don't trust this not to have like an a fucking after credit scene. No way, it doesn't. Thank you for praising me, the people who are praising me in chat. I appreciate it. And Ali Flower, thank you for Prime. Appreciate it. Oh. Hmm, interesting. Very interesting. Stop lying to yourself. You who said that? Ban that guy, ban that guy. Anyway, what was I gonna say? That one was, that one was creepy. That one, the first one I was like, this is like a little bit creepy, but like, it's just like the faces look a bit weird, that's it. That one was actually eerie. That one freaked me the fuck out. That one actually I did not like at all. Like, I'll be honest. The first one was like, all right, fine, whatever. Second one, no, not at all, not fun. That was creepy. And then what else was I gonna say? It only gets worse. Oh, Jesus. Jesus fucking Christ. And then, not only that, but like, trying to work out what's going off as well. But hey, someone made a dream joke, so we're all good. Anyway, oh, what's this? Uh, hi, Jake, just a quick announcement for you and your fans that the creator of the Watton Files doesn't like when someone is comparing his work to the Fnatic series. Please keep it in mind. No, fair enough. I mean, hey, ultimately, and, and I'm sorry to say this to the creator, but anything that came out Post-2014 that is going to have animatronics in it is going to get that. Because it FNAF is such a fucking cultural phenomenon. We're like, it's so big. It's so insanely big. It changed the indie game space forever and it's going to change everything. Like, like, genuinely. But, fair enough. Out of respect, I ain't going to mention it again. But, you know. I can't help it. It is definitely... There's got to be some level of inspiration there. Because at the same time... You know. I don't know. But, whatever. Flashing warning for this episode. Oh, apparently there's... La Flash, so, you know, if that doesn't work for you, then this is four minutes long. Come back here in about eight, because I usually pause things, and you'll probably be good. All right, so this is, this is the hidden link from the last one. Something about Sophie. Okay. Oh, this is the opening day. 74. I don't like how it lingers on shots for slightly too long. How did they just never not look creepy? You know, they didn't just age badly. First birthday party, 74. 
Oh god, these are gonna be awful, aren't they? Last show before closure. Seventy. Four. Thought it. Thought it closed four years later. Thank you for the smiles. Wait, that implies it was only open for a month. I thought it said it. Wait, oh shit, okay, so, sorry, it, no, it closed for four years, sorry, it closed for four, four years, yeah, yeah, okay, it was only open a month. Okay, canine storage. Alright, they all get lobbed in there. Mm -hmm. I don't like the fact that it's just a black screen. Some shit's gonna fucking happen. Oh fuck, that's got me really on edge. Why is that so bad? It's literally a blank screen! Oh Jesus. I don't like this one. Oh, okay. You so must be so confused about what you saw. Don't be scared, my little bunny. Answers will be given eventually, but okay. don't try to solve this puzzle only with the pieces you have so far. This is only the beginning, for I'm going to tell you a story of broken people, beautiful people. He is so sorry about what he did to them, but there's nothing he can do. Remember that. Safety and pills, Sophie. Safety and pills, Sophie. Safety and pills. I want waffle fries. There is no captions on this one. It, it, it was, again, that was another Sonic EXE moment, but what he said is intriguing. Safety and pills. Sophie. Safety and pills. I don't know how. I didn't even mean to, but I did. They tried to talk to us through analog. They will be heard. This is their cry for help. Besides, they want us to know what happened that year. But we must be patient. Look. They are filled with life. They dance to the music. They laugh and sing along. They're perfect. This is awful. They are beautiful. They will see you soon, Sophie. Jesus. Oh, Jesus Christ. This is very well written. I'll give them that. I'm enjoying, I'm enjoying the story they're trying to tell. It's fun. This is really like... It's good, you know? Sorry, that was my brother singing. Hey, he had a voice. He had a voice. What could I say? Uh, sorry, I've paused because of two things. One... Uh, I just, I like taking a break between episodes. Two, this one's the longest episode yet. It's going to be 58 minutes long. So this is going to be the majority of the stream. Uh, this one is, is long as fuck. Bunny Farm. The idea I've got in my head is that Jack Walton goes fucking mental in search for his daughter, Sophie. 
uh, Jack goes missing through whatever means. Maybe he dies. Uh, my guess, maybe, maybe, is the fact that he is inside of Bon. Uh, then he proceeds to uh, make the others beautiful, uh, including his uh, wife, who uh, hears a voice, who tells him that, uh, so close, but no, no, I'm trying, man. It makes sense later. I know, I'm just trying to guess. I feel like it's fun to try and guess, you know? I figured it was to do with that. And then, kind of close. Thank you. I'm glad. I'm glad. I'm glad. I'm glad. I'm glad. I think I'm understanding it. Oh, what was that? It's another YouTube link. It's another YouTube link. All right, we'll try it because I feel like we should watch it when it pops up. It's probably the other thing in this playlist, but like, let's just like. Oh, perfect. Oh, wait, shit. Okay. This is interesting. It's probably just the other one, but like, let's give it a go. So, HTTPS, con slash slash youtube.be slash h my guess we're gonna get more letters as this goes on so i'm gonna put that in and we're gonna carry on that's that's fun i like this sophie walton 22 years old born 1960. that is a creepier looking person jenny letterson 26 years old, born 1956. Footage from 82. Bunny Smiles Games. Oh, it's a, a video game. Okay. Interesting. All right. See where this leads. Bunny Smiles Incorporated Beta Tester Golden Ticket. Okay. Yo, for 82, these graphics are actually kind of insane. Oh, Bunny yeah, Farm. This is a game I wanted to show you, Sophie. Oh, huh. Nice. Yeah, I played it for a while. Thought you would enjoy it. <laughs> Thanks. Also, uh, they installed the machine in the basement of the building not so long ago, so please try to be careful. The janitor told me these are hella expensive. And delicate, too. Oh, I see. So, do I start the game? Yeah, let's go. I mean, surely Sophie's aware of this since her father owns Bonds, right? Like, he's the co-owner? Surely she's aware of this product, you'd think. Would they say hello in the 80s? Probably not, but let, look, let, let's just leave it. Interesting. Right, so you gotta choose a name now. <laughs> I see your name over there. <laughs> yeah, but the idea is that you play the game from scratch. I see. Uh, put my name over here then. File three. So, fuck. Oh, shit, so I can't go back. <laughs> Dumbass. Soapy. Soapy. I like that. That's yeah. funny. That's cute. This is cute. I like this. All right, gang. Gather around. All right. What is it, Mr. B? Yeah, what is it, Bob? Oh, don't tell me you guys forgot about today. Any oh, oh, I know. I know. Ask me. Please. I know. Ask me. Anyone else ask? Aside from Benny? Ah, comedy. Right, Benny. What day is it today? Is it his birthday? Uh, today is the annual fruit Oh, never mind. Festival. We do a huge party on the restaurant every year. Oh, I forgot about that. Oh, heavens, me too. Well, I'm sure this party is much better than last year's, right? Well, uh, I need all... Says well, on the screen. I'm sure this party is much better than last year's, right? I'm sure it will. Okay. Well, uh, I need all of you to put your fruits in these baskets. You guys want fruits. Guys, you don't need to keep screaming at me that they're gay. It's it, it's uh, okay. Good for them. <laughs> I 
I'm just looking at Jack like, Jack, they're gay! And I'm like, okay, it's fine. It's, it's 2022, they're allowed. I mean, it's, admittedly back then it was the 80s, but still like, what do you expect? What do you want me to do? We get it. Good for them. Happy. Right. Oh heavens, what are we gonna do? Oh no! Is the fruit festival cancelled, Mr. B? That's not oh, okay. You it's not okay to cancel the fruit! It's not okay to cancel the fruit festival! It's a sub in it, lad. I appreciate that, Emmy. I really do. Hell, I couldn't help but notice you guys need fruits real quick. My barn's filled with all kinds of fruits. Say, Thank you, Australian hippo. hippo. Flavors, and I'll give you all the fruits you need. Almost said hippo gator. <laughs> I genuinely almost called it a hippo gator. I was like, ah, it's a fucking hippo gator. They're called hippopotamus. I genuinely don't know why I can't speak today. I don't know why. And it's really bothering me. Jack, the poster. Which, what poster? You dumb Hell, I couldn't help but notice you guys need fruits real quick. My barn's filled with all kinds of fruits. Say, why don't you guys do me a small favor and I'll give you all the fruits you need. Huge. Yes! Barn adventure! I love barns! I want to see the pigs and the chickens and the animals and the barns and the pigs! All right, Pete. We're held all we fun. All of us working. Really? What? Well, what do we for me? <laughs> Billy! Billy fucking scared the bullet. Billy just showed up, bro. Billy was just there. Hey, respect to Billy though for being. Hey, at least he showed his face. Oh, there was a little black. There was a little Wait, black, black figure. Okay, interesting. Pete the hippo. Hmm. You know, something I like about the game is the uh, the artwork. I don't know why, but there is something about it that seems uh, really familiar to me. Huh. Right, I should show you the- Oh, oh, okay, so she she has like some memory loss or something. I, I'd assume. Trolls, so you don't have a hard time playing later on. Mm, all right. Okay, okay, so you use this thing to move around. Mm, okay. And you use these buttons to interact with stuff. Yeah. I have both. Yeah, I played this game for a while a few mm -hmm. years ago, and I noticed a, a bit of stuff. Yeah. Yeah, this game looks very unfinished. <laughs> I saw a ton of errors and shit while playing the levels, and it crashed a couple of times, too. Huh. That's strange, but then again, the game did clarify it was a beta test when we turned on the machine. True. Yeah, when BSI installed these machines, they clarified- I forgot to cancel but... this sub oops. Here's the thing. What are you gonna be mean for, man? Why well, you, you don't want to cancel that sub. You don't want to. You know why? Because you're part of an exclusive club that won't watch the ads when they play in seven minutes and miss part of this great gameplay. So ultimately, <laughs> you may think you made a mistake, but you actually, it's fate, my friend. These glitches are very freaky, if I'm totally honest. Um, that's why I wanted to show you this in the first place. I know you're into that BSI? kind of... BSI? Funny Smiles Incorporated. Have I heard that name before i mean that company has been pretty relevant the they've been very relevant they've they've been here? posting on instagram what what happened some weird rumors and shit apparently there was this one employee that drove to some forest a few days ago not too far away from here actually he hasn't been seen around ever since oh so sophie's not dead sophie is alive like i figured all these events start with Sophie's death, but that's not true. She's she's kicking about just fine. So that's interesting. Really? Yeah. The Weird, man. Quickly. Some family members say it was his first day. Oh, Lord. We what knew that. I don't know why I panicked. Um, Brian, I think? Well, I hope he's doing all right. He's not. He's dead. Got fucking killed by your... Your dad, know. mate. Maybe he's okay. I mean, it's been a while since he was last seen, right? Brighton's not that big of a town anyway, so they would have found him by now. He's quite big, though. I, I live there. I, that's where my house is. It's quite big. It's big. It's a big place. 
She's lying. Soapy's lying. Soapy's lying, guys. Did we get 169 subs? Fuck! I missed it! Damn it. Oh. Well, who was that? I think it was Hina Live who was the 169 sub. I appreciate it. But Lazy S Rat, Firecat J, and uh, Love Amelia. L wait. Loves Amelia, not Love Amelia. <laughs> so, <laughs> fuck. Yeah, Loves Amelia. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. The one in America. No clue what you're talking about. There's only one Brighton, and it's where my gaff is. Leave me alone. Oh, reminds me of this other girl. N there's more. This young employee named Ashley. Young adult. Very pretty. <laughs> she became some sort of urban legend around here. Why? People say she died inside of some old bunker from the company. Her body was not no. around. Most say she was privately buried. Others say she's still inside that place. Sounds like a made-up story to get little kids away from that forest. And we should probably just continue with the game. <laughs> yeah, who wants to hear about this kind of shit while playing some little child's game, right? Bobby the Hippo was the original something? owner of the town. He had two sons, Pete the Hippo and Johnny the Hippo. Bobby made the promise of creating the best quality... Uh... Yeah, creating the best quality barn in the world. Rip Bobby. Older year, other year. <laughs> I like that. Oh, oh. Yeah, I was just thinking about... Um... Anyways, so do I have to... Thank you for all the subs. Like... You're going to avoid the ads. So Four minutes. Go to a certain character or... Ah, um, if you get close to a certain character, it'll let you access their level. Oh, neat. <laughs> the the mm. drawing... I don't like this one. It looks boring. What do you mean it looks boring? It's just a picture of a sheep. Oh well, it's up to you really. How do you know it looks boring? Caitlin, thank you for the uh, Prime. Appreciate it. Prime's are completely free. It's huge. Okay. What was that? Why did it just stand there for a second in dead silence? Did anything happen? Didn't look like it. I apples. I like apples too. <laughs> okay. Billy. I like the clown one. Alrighty, press this button. What kind of psychopath does that first? Fuck it out. Uh, see, I told you this game was a little broken. I can tell. Fun fact. You know, I keep thinking about bunny smiles. It sounds so familiar. This game is bringing back so many memories, but it's so hard to just remember exactly. Ah. Uh. Sorry, um, probably just boring you with random thoughts of mine. I'll stop. No, 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 not at all, Sophie. However, I do, uh, I gotta do some other stuff. I got this one essay I need to finish. I'll see you around. Oh, alright. Just talk to me in case you have any questions regarding the game, okay? Yeah. But only the yeah. game! Speak to me about nothing else! That was, why did she say it like that? She said it like as if she, you are allowed to speak to me about this game and then nothing else. That was really, she, she, sh are, you, are we sure they're lesbians? I mean, not the fact that they're lesbians, but they're a lesbian. Are we sure they're dating is what I'm saying? Because that seemed like, please don't fucking speak to me unless it's about this. She's an Omega. I, what does that mean? What does that mean? Oh, gee, okay. Hi, Bonnie. Wait. Shouldn't you be in the barn with the rest of the gang? Yeah, everything put there. I'm supposed to solve this fight, but most of the stuff I need is located in the ridiculously complex puzzles. Say, could you help me out to solve the puzzles? Okay, I'll put on the auto, auto captions for a second, because... Alright, first we need to get the party hats. They should be in the... Alright, good track. Now we need... Jesus Christ. All right. How do I... Okay. I... Why well, has it stopped doing the subtitles?
Oh, what the fuck? Oh. Beetroot. Hey, it's a vegetable, all right. Thanks for the four months. What the fuck is he doing? He's just like ramming his head against the wall. That's really eerie. Oh, okay. Oh. Wait, what was that? That was like a frame. Okay, low res. Okay. Alright. Alright. First we need to get the party hats. They should be in the basement. Where's the basement, Billy? Broken more than I thought. Oh, oh, okay. Why is that like a frog? Why? What the fuck, the frog machine? Do I have to? What do you mean you see? I can't figure out. Why Why is there a frog machine? You know what I mean? It's like this boy don't pull up in the Hulk machine. That's all I can think of right now. They've ruined it. They've made it a... Oh wait, you just have... Wait, you just have to play Noughts and Crosses? Is that it? Wait, how do you get to the top row? How do you get there? Oh, okay. Oh. It's gonna be a draw. Oh, never mind. Oh, you won. Oh, nice. There we go. What was that? How does this involve the party hats? Okay. Oh. Uh, what's that? Jenny? That was the fucking, uh, that was Ashley, right? It was really pixelated, but I, I swear I could see Ashley's face in that. That's weird. Welcome back, ad viewers. Uh, all you missed was my boy uh, pulled up in the frog machine and he played Norse and Crosses. That was, that was it. That's all Bond did. Uh, there really wasn't much else. Honestly, I'll be, I'll be real with you. Nothing much has happened in a while, so don't, no stress. Christ, never mind, never mind. Oh. Wait, what well. exactly happened yesterday? I don't know. The game just... It just crashed yesterday. What happened? Okay, it's just saying different day, new day. What exactly happened yesterday? Thanks, Ghost Eddie. Appreciate the prime. I don't know. The game just... It just crashed. What happened? Welcome back from the ads. Sorry, I already said it again. But, um... Essentially what happened was, uh... They walked into a room with a big frog machine and played, uh... Noughts and crosses on it, or otherwise to Americans known as tic-tac-toe, which is more confusing than just noughts and crosses, which is what it consists of. Uh, and then the oh. game does some freaky shit. Uh, it shows up a face. Uh, I think it was Ashley's. And then uh, the game crashes and it cuts to the next day. That's what it is. Turn off your light. I have. This camera is really high exposure. It, but this room is significantly darker than that fucking camera makes it out to be. Like, if I could, let me show you a picture of my room. Like, right now, just to, like, give you an idea of how fucking dark it is in here. Um. I don't know. No, you can see my phone's in, like, high exposure shit. How do I, can I turn it off? Let 
That's like, to give you an idea, that my green screen's over there. This is how dark it is in here. Alright, okay, the camera makes that look d Everything on this camera looks lighter than it is. Trust me, it's dark in here. I've, no, I've got zero lights on. The only light is my monitors. Genuinely. Noughts and crosses. Leave me alone. Fuck off. Don't laugh about the way I say noughts and crosses. Tweet the photo. I'm not going to tweet the photo. Imagine I just tweet a photo midway through stream and it's like, here's my curtain. Guys, I need likes. That would not... That would not... I would get ratioed. I would get ratioed. No one can be... It's 2022. You can't get ratioed. I was playing and the game just kept showing weird visuals. Huh. Yeah, it was so weird. Like if I was being told something, I guess. Huh. Like a message? Maybe. <laughs> what? So you think this game is haunted or something? I, I don't know. Maybe the time where I was playing and there would be times which I would do certain stuff that would cause the game to glitch and display some bizarre visuals and stuff. Anyways, it's getting very late. You sure you want to play right now? Why not just wait so we can play together tomorrow morning? I mean, you can go to sleep if you want, Jenny. Alright. Good night, Sophie. Good night. Okay, she's getting like obsessed with it for some reason. Start this. That's interesting. Oh, okay. There's a high chance Bunny Farm PPX file data has been corrupted or its information has been altered, replaced by a third party. I recommend you unplug the machine immediately. Opening the farm may lead to unknown glitches and errors in the levels. If you do want to continue, however, we warn you that the machine could suffer major changes and, at, it, as, at its worst case, a complete shutdown, deleting all valuable information in it. Do you still wish to continue? Fuck. Don't tell me I lost all my progress, because I... I'm not entering that clan level again. I think this is a save where the glitch occurred, and I really feel like I should dig deeper into this. I'm expecting to see a bunch of glitches since, like, the save file is corrupted, so, yeah. Huh. Car okay. Okay. We yeah, we saw that already. Do your level then. Hippo house. Those are pigs. Well, I was about to say. Thank you, Sophie. You know what? You take over the fucking stream if you're gonna do shit like that. Oh, pretty fun place. Why, hello there. Wow, pretty. I don't know why the subtitles stop at this section. Hold on. Course, girl. I'm supposing you two are here to help me feed the pigs, right? Yeah. Cause you speak their love things. I want to feed them and take care of them and play with them and kiss with them and love with them and play with them. <laughs> All right, I need you to. <laughs> the fucking. <laughs> that was funny. Pay attention <coughs> to what I say and I follow the instructions I give you. Okay. So, first of all, colon do closing not square bracket. Open the cages unless I tell you to. What I mean by if I open the cage, I think it'll be really funny. I think it'll be really, really funny. Yeah. I I'm gonna open the cage now. Yeah. <laughs> the fucking graphics. Yes. Those are some pigs, all right. That was funny. That was hilarious. Oh, no, Benny, what have you done? All the pigs have escaped to the hippo house. Benny, you dumb bunny. I I'm I'm sorry. I was just trying to help. No, you were just trying to be funny. You said it was funny. That's not helping. Right? You just said, oh, well, this will be funny. This will be lol. I'll, I'll laugh to myself, lamau. Bruh, I'm dead. Skull emoji. That's what you said. It looks like they each entered a different door. We'll have to find keys for each door. What do you mean? How, how did the pigs get in? You're telling me the pigs locked the doors behind? Fuck off. I tell you what. They're just, they're being silly with this. They're being ridiculous. 
Okay, so basically we'll have to catch the pigs, I think. I'm okay, going to turn the other subtitles back on. Okay, huh. Gotta find the keys for these doors. Yes, the barn does have eyes. I also spotted that. I thought it was a bit weird. I'm already starting to notice a few errors. The blue key under that coach. I gotta find a way to get to it though. How are you seeing it? I don't see it at all. Wait, what if you take this? Is that a bucket of chicken? Shit, it worked. Is that all you, you just have to distract him with a bucket of chicken? That's great, I like that. Oh, oh, there's the key. Fucking hell. Alright, should lead to this door. Alright. Some simple gaming. Ooh, wow, that is... How big is the fucking hippo house, man? Jesus. Uh, oh, all right. Uh. Oh, the red key. Um. The hippo is rich. Clearly, why is everyone calling the the, le the lean room? Why the le Why is it the lean room? What? Where is that logic came from? Where have you- It's just dark! Lean rabbit. I understand the lean rabbit. It's purple. Was it? Was it purple? Oh, it is. Oh, shit. Wow, I'm stupid. I'm not very good at colors, guys. I'm not very good at colors. Okay, I think I know what to do. Unplug the plug. Yeah, there we go. No, that's gonna- you need to unplug the plug so the pig doesn't get cooked alive, right? That looks like a conveyor to go cook it. these errors act in a certain way, as if that unknown error mentioned earlier was something or someone trying to talk to me or trying to get me to do something. Like, if whatever is going on wants to get me to do something, because... Especially because these have all occurred when I interact with the characters. Could it have something to do with them? This is some this is some weird logic here. I've also noticed that I talk to myself a lot. Yep. Technical support audio log number three, uh, June 30th, 1974. Oh, what the fuck? Okay. Jeremy's birthday party finished an hour ago. I decided to stay and help the employees clean the place. Okay. This week has, uh, been, a uh, strange. Especially because of the opening. Uh, I find it weird that they opened the place even though Mr. Wharton disappeared a few weeks ago. I hope he's doing all right. Oh, he disappeared before the opening. Okay, that's... Rosemary came in today and asked if we'd seen him around. Uh, I'm pretty worried about it. Felix seems very concerned and worried too. Uh, uh, anyway, the birthday party. Uh, the birthday party, yes. Uh, everything went according to plan. Uh, this was the first birthday party in the restaurant, and I feel it turned out pretty well. Uh, I noticed a few irregularities in the stage and in the audio animatronics. As the engineer and the person who basically built the animatronics to begin with, it was easier to notice these. Okay, so she created the animatronics. She was the one who is inside of... What, what's that one's name? It's not Bruno! It's not, oh my god! She's inside the lean rabbit. We're just going to call it the lean rabbit. I've forgotten his name. Lean rabbit. Especially in Bond. 
that something something fell off. Uh, the limbs weren't moving properly. They looked stiff and odd, mainly in his right arm. I take a few more minutes to take him to the backstage, just to make sure everything's okay. I'm the only one left. Uh, Chris left some hours ago, and Felix didn't even show up. I'll leave oh. and close the restaurant when I'm finished. I'm sure it's not going to take a lot. Ban it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Lean. 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 Rabbit. Lean. Rabbit. Oh, that felt like something touched my shoulder. That freaked me out. Are you like playing as her right now? That's what this seems to imply. I figured you were carrying her as an item, but I think actually she's in an employee's uniform. That or are you Banny? Oh, that's eerie. That's creepy. That's creepy. That's fucking creepy. Don't put peep the horror. Don't do the fucking germa shit. And then she ends up in the lean rabbit. Yeah, okay, so I was right. Okay. Why would you put peep the horror? You fucking germa enjoy. I love germa, man. I'm not even going to shit on you for it, but like, my God. Peep the fucking horror. Oh, that's eerie as f Oh, I'm still alive, but I can't move. And I'm ha having trouble breathing. And my stomach feels weird. Hey, congrats to me for having fucking immaculate eyes, can we just say? That's that's the creepiest image they've shown so far. That actually is disturbing as fuck. <laughs> that was awful. That was awful. Oh, my stomach feels weird. Is that the, the rabbit is starving? Oh, now she breathes. Way! We made Susan beautiful. I'm dancing, but only to get through the fear, I'll be honest. Like, I'm doing this only because it helps me cope. Oh, that's a cool little transition. Going from the rabbit's face into the woman's. Yeah, okay, that's clever. That's a good one. That was, that, that looked really cool, visually. I like that. The breathing is a really good way. She's starving, Jack. Well, no, I know. I, I watched the, the rabbit is starving bit as well. I'm still pretty convinced that uh, Mr. Uh, what's his name? Walton is inside of here. And I also feel like Felix is in some way responsible. I also haven't been checking for letters to complete the uh, YouTube link we started. You know how there's a YouTube link? I didn't find all the letters, so. Someone put eat something. Yeah, no, she's fine. Just, just, just have a sandwich. She'll be fine. I'm sure you can feed animatronic sandwiches. Jesus, though. Uh, but that was very confusing and, and scary, but it felt like I was being told a story or a... How was she so calm about this? If I was playing a game and that shit happened, I swear to God, because like, uh, let me tell you something about me. All right, and I think this is why this one's freaking me out a little bit more than usual. I, um, I, one of my biggest, I, I've always had quite bad anxiety. And I think um, the way that manifested when I was young, especially, was I had this irrational fear of technology, like, like the TV or like my Xbox doing its own thing you know it was a weird little thing it's like i used to have nightmares that i couldn't turn off the xbox like i was clicking the off button but it, it was refusing but like in an almost weirdly sentient way or like i used to get that super super bad super bad right and like the ben drowned shit yeah yeah, which i never read because i was like five but like it used to freak me the fuck out um and still to this day I, I do get, I can get quite creeped out by, like, you know, if my, if my computer was to, like, it, like say, um, I remember, like, when I was a kid, my dad's computer getting, like, a virus, and the anti-malware popping up is like, because, I don't know if you've ever had a vast antivirus, but their fucking tactic for telling you you've got a virus is scare the shit out of you, so you react. It literally, if your computer gets some malware, it'll go, boop, 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 virus detected, virus detected. Like it, like, it makes it sound like it's the fucking end of the world, like the nukes are coming, right? 
So it, it always shat me up. I think I actually used to use the early versions of Avast. I swear to God, use air raid siren noises. It was awful, right? And like, like so whenever my computer used to get malware, I used to like stand like at a distance and fix it because it just it just it just freaks me the fuck out. Um, but yeah, so I think like if I was playing this, if I was playing that fucking game, right? And it started doing shit like that. I swear to God, I put my fist through the fucking screen. I I run. No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't even have the the balls. I'd run. I'd fucking run. I'd run and I'd never go back. In fact, I'd actually uh, I would run away and then actively go and destroy it because I wouldn't like the fact that it was in my house. That shit is awful. I I don't know what it is about that. It freaks me out. Genuinely. Anything like this freaks me out. Event. I mean, clearly I was, but um. What she says, I mean, clearly I was, but um... Someone says she's on antipsychotics, and that's probably why she's calm about it, which I don't know exactly how antipsychotics work, but maybe that's, um, you know. Yeah. Don't move chat, I'm scared. No, sorry, you have to go back. You're gonna have to go back. Go about that, thank you. Why did you go into software engineering if you were afraid of technology? I think it's actually my fear of technology that made me want to do it. Because uh, the more I learned about computers, the less scary they, like, the less scary it got. Because, like, they do, when they now do weird shit, I could usually tell you why they're doing weird shit. Because I understand them. But, y you know, like, I used to, the, 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 it was like, technology! Ah! Like, the, the, I was that. But I feel like I actually, I, like, the reason I started learning is because... I was like, it make it it makes now it makes sense to me. It doesn't scare me anymore. Um, I think that genuinely is where it stems from. Like my want to like learn to program and uh, you know like uh, network engineering and shit. Because that's really I, I want to do network engineering more than software engineering. But I, I couldn't get I, the course wasn't running that year or something like that. Anyway. Um. Yeah. Thing is, the pills have been making me forget a lot of stuff from my teenage years and my childhood and like I started taking them for a reason but I really don't want to think about it hmm oh this again Linda Thompson. Thompson written with a red pen. Yeah, but what does it say underneath? Cranken? Cranken. Linda Cranken, that looks like it says. Is Fe it, that's Felix's surname, right? Felix Cranken? Yeah, okay, Felix's ex-wife. Just making sure. Felix hasn't been mentioned enough for me to remember his name at this point. We're, we're like, you know, fucking like two hours into this. Yeah, just making sure. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, huh? Huh. October 30th, 1964. Felix has been acting very weird lately. lately. He's been drinking more than usual. I'm very worried about him. I don't know what I don't know what to do. He came home at 4 a.m. He was crying. He seemed very unstable and stressed. I don't know what to do. Oh, that that added some context because that's covered up. That's interesting. That's in '64. That's a long time before any of this. This is '80. Oh no, no, this is like maybe the '70s that the restaurant opened. So this is a long time ago. All covered. All covered. All covered. Wow, that's a lot of fucking... Oh, Lord. August 23rd, 1965. I know I haven't talked here as much as I used to. Oh, okay. I know I haven't talked here as much as I used to. This month has been so, 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 so crazy. I moved in with Felix last week. He was very happy about it. Yesterday, Jack and Rose had their third child. A little girl. Uh, her name is Molly. Molly Walton. Jack and Felix have been pitching up the idea... The restaurant idea with the company that's interested in the project. The name's Cyberfun Tech. Oh, Cyberfun Tech are the people who fund, like sorted the animatronics, right? And Jack and Rose... 
which is Rosemary, who came in looking, had their third child. So they have lots of kids, one of which is Sophie. December 26, 1970. Christmas was nice. They, oh wait. They built a doll, a gray rabbit for Ed and Molly and named it Rocket. Molly named it Rocket. Felix drank a lot yesterday. This has been a problem for a while. He's a good person, but he doesn't want to address this. It's getting worse and worse, but he doesn't notice. He feels bad about it, but doesn't try to change. Oh, I remember Rocket. He's in the second one. It, 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 Ashley sees him before she dies. And then Ed, I'm going to assume, is the other Walton child. It's getting worse. He's so submerged with their project that he doesn't realize how much damage he's doing to himself. How much damage he's doing to me. He keeps going to places only to drink. Sometimes he even stays at the warehouse for the sole purpose of drinking. He doesn't listen. He never listens. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I can't. Oh, okay. We're going to skip that one. I want to know what that one says. I don't know what to do. I'm so worried. I. Something. It. I just. Cannot. Something. I don't know what that says. It, it, yeah, it goes. I, I don't know what to do. Oh, I am so worried. I... I... What's that word? I, I don't know what that word is. I can't figure out what that word is. Weird. I make it, maybe? I... Something make it. I just cannot... Something. Interesting. Welcome, funny Raiders! I am here. Welcome. I am watching uh, The Walton Files, which is like a YouTube series that's creepy as fuck and has some like really hidden lore. We're trying to work it out. I probably could just watch a game theory on this or like, what, what, what's the other one? Matt, Matt Pat, you know, film theory, Matt Pat. He could probably tell me what's going on, but I'm trying to work it out myself beforehand. Uh, and then we'll, we'll probably watch the uh, film theory before um, we end stream. But welcome. If you want to watch along with us, this is more creepy. If that's not your style, I appreciate it. But if you are new, and you want to stay along, feel free to follow. Appreciate it. I don't claim this negative energy. I think you'll be okay. Don't worry. It's editing. You'll be okay. Uh, dear Felix, by the time you're reading this, I shouldn't be home. I know you're confused. I'm confused too. What you said to me last week hurt me a lot, but it opened my eyes. Hopefully this opened yours eye too. Our relationship isn't healthy. It never was. I'm leaving Brighton this morning. You're in the warehouse with Jack and the others as I'm writing this. By the time you're reading this, I'll already be in Hurricane. Is that the whole thing? Okay, yeah. I know you are busy today doing Jack a favor. Something related to a... Su something party? I can't remember. But please go there when you have the time. As to me, I'll try to build my own life while I still can. You should do that too. I love you. Goodbye. I'm sorry, Linda. I am so sorry. I, I shouldn't be reading this. I am sorry. Oh, and we're back here. Nice. Mm. Apparently Nexpo has a good video on it. Alright, we'll watch that. Bilzo, how are you gonna come and chat and say that walking is a cold ass beat? What the fuck, man? Don't ruin the vibes. I'm trying to be scared right now, Bill. Who's inside of here? That's what I want to know. Maybe no one's inside of him. Lily's birthday. Oh, was Lily's birthday what she said there? Hold on. I'm gonna say that this is maybe Lily's birthday. That's a word. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Oh, I punched the mic, my bad. Ron, what a wonderful surprise. 
I'm supposing you're here to help me set up Lily's birthday party. Thank you so much, Chavi. Wonderful. You see, I need someone to help me set up the games for the party. Say, why don't you help me set up the games? What do you think? What do I think? Oh, there's a face there. There's a face there. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's get started. It'll be lots of fun. Hold on. Okay, just curious because obviously there's that YouTube link that it tried to like, you know? We'll see, we'll see. What? Again, I feel like this could be related to a person trying to tell the player something, maybe even a ghost, because this game really makes it seem like the people shown on screen died. Uh. Oh, Undertale, it's Sans, it's Sans. The, that's it, we, we don't even need to watch the fucking map pack theory. I know what it is already. It is that Ness from uh, Mother is in this game as Sans Undertale, who is um, th that man who is dead, who Sans is the killer. He's purple guy. Sans is purple guy. Because ultimately, the 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 uh, uh, look. I'm not gonna try and compare it to FNAF, but there's FNAF parallels and like Sans is purple guy. Sans is this franchise's purple guy. There was a purple uniform right in the start. Walton is Sans. Walton is Sans, guys. It's got. That's what it is. It's the canon. I've, I worked it out. We don't even. Right, that's it. You know what? Actually, stream over. Bye bye, bye guys. We worked it out. Bye bye. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Alright, let's carry on. I love sand undertale. Me too, I love sand. I actually hate it. It's coarse and it's rough and it gets everywhere. Oh. Okie dokie. No. <laughs> he had the big head again there. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. You jump scared me, you prick. Get, right up. Get ready for entertainment like you've never seen before. Just really quick, just really quick before we carry on. Like Have we noticed that, like, so that's what Bond usually looks like, right? When Bond's about to kill something, his head's fucking massive. Like, look. Wait. Oh, maybe it isn't. I, I figured it just looked bigger, but maybe I'm wrong. I thought his head looked bigger. No, I'm wrong. Never mind. I was about to say that it was actually an allegory for uh, the dangers of um, being an online micro-celebrity. Being an internet micro-celebrity is actually dangerous because you can get a big head and large ego and, and then you just start killing people. And ultimately, I've not done that, but that's because I'm better than the rest. Boys and Thank girls, you. I'll be here all night with the theories, Get guys. Ready for entertainment like you've never seen before. Start with something simple. Memorize. Take a close look at this picture. Time's up. Let's play. Boing. It's the sound of Wayne's boner from Wayne's World. What the fuck? Done. Thank you. Oh dear. Well Sorry, done. I looked away from the screen for a second. I zoned out. Uh, so far, has everything been normal so far? I zoned out. Like, I looked away for like a second. What was that scream? Wait, there's a scream? What? Hold on. 
We'll go back. I wasn't paying attention. Sorry. I was. I. I looked away. Right. Well done. Okay. Then it goes for Billy in the bottom right. Oh dear. Okay. I don't like how like sad he looks. He's like. It's just the way he went. Oh dear. It's awful. I hate shit like that. Hey, we did it again. Well done. That's him. That's you, lad. That is you. What? Oh dear. I knew that had happened. Well done. What the fuck? Oh. I don't like the way he stands when he says, oh dear. That like, that, that fucking frame. Where is it? Like. Wait, hold on. Go back a touch. I don't like it! That's fucking horrific to me! I don't know why, though. Oh yeah, I've still got the BR. Mm. Why is that weird like that? I hate that. Oh, oh wrong thing. Um... Oh. Nah. Mm-mm. It's just, it, his face. He looks silly, but like, that's why it's worse, I feel like. Like, it's like, if I use that in a meme, it'd be funny, because he looks kind of goofy. But like, I feel like because it's the atmosphere that it has. Nah. Not a fan. Oh, Why do you keep clicking on that one? Leave it. Leave it alone. Just go on to a different bit, love. Sophie. James! Thank you for the raid, bro! James, I appreciate the raid. I'm gonna do the exact same explanation I gave to the funny viewers when they raided. Welcome! Uh, if you've just been doing a funny little stream, this is... A completely different vibe. I'm watching uh, The Walton Files, which is a horror series uh, where I was told I look like one of the main characters because he has a creepy little smile and there's this picture of me. So purely off the basis of that, I started watching it. We're about probably uh, like we've been going for two hours, but I've spoke a lot about it. So we're probably like an hour and a half in. It's fucking creepy. I'm not even going to lie to you. This shit is eerie as fuck. Right? Like... Let me just, maybe, maybe because you've not got any context, this won't be creepy to you, but watch this. You tell me that this isn't creepy. Oh. Just, it was weird. It's weird. But if it's your sort of thing and you do like this sort of reaction, at reaction content, then uh, please do feel free to follow. I really would appreciate it. Uh, I stream with Jimbo a lot. Well, not a lot, but me and Jimbo do stream together. Don't, he's going to call me out if I say a lot. Because then he's going to go, no, you fucking don't. He's northern now. Uh, but if you want to check it out, then uh, feel free to stick around. <laughs> However, that's all I was going to say. I started a sentence and then forgot where I was going with it, I'll be honest. No thanks, I'm going to leave. Gee, I do not blame you, it's fucking horrifying. I'm sat in the- uh, this room is so dark. I know it looks light because of my monitors, but I swear to God, that's the camera doing that fucking work. Congratulations, you're very good at this. Right, it's time for the real game. Let's play Spot the Differences. <laughs> this one's a bit hard. But a Look at this image. Look at this image. Okay, I could do that. The apple.
You spotted a difference. The uh, the the B on the pouch. The B on the pouch. Be nope. be <laughs> that's not the difference. No, the B on the pouch. Well, that's not the you spotted a difference. And then the the, the the green bow on the hat. Spotted a difference. Oh, I didn't spot that actually. Nope, <laughs> that's not the difference. You spotted a difference. Edward. Good job. You spotted a difference. Good job. There's more. Let's move on to the next image, shall we? Oh, okay. Look at this image. I just look at. This. You just guarantee there's gonna be like one image of like him and then one of that fucking creepy face. I already know what's gonna do, and I'm I'm hating it. But image. You spotted a difference. Good job. Oh, it's yellow snow. Yeah, he peed. He Good peed job. in the snow. Nope. <laughs> oh, you know what's gonna happen? They're gonna click on the fucking silhouette of a little girl in the background. This is gonna go. No, that's not the difference. That's not the difference. Uh, try again, which. Oh, I guarantee you. I'm almost certain. You spotted a difference. Good job. You spotted, you spotted a difference. Just let's move on to the next image. Oh, never mind. I, f I was wrong. I was wrong. Look at this image. You spotted a difference. I don't like the fact that the Good little job. red men have sad faces. You spotted a difference. Good job. Nope. <laughs> That's not the difference. The uh, try again, which You spotted a difference. Good job. You spotted yeah, here we are. Nope. That's not nope. the difference. That's not the difference. Why are you just saying dream? Dream after the manhunt. Oh, he's red and sad. Ah, I get you. How is someone going to put what is that first image? You just gonna roast a dead guy? You really gonna roast my dude? Admittedly, my guy, is he sporting the far quad? Yes, he is, alright? Oh, I, we're not gonna lie about it. Does he look a little bit like fucking Kylo Ren? A touch. But he died, man. He's all smushed up and in there. Come on. Congratulations. You completed my, my game. Now, time for the prizes. <laughs> Man's is dead. Yes, most people in this are, I've realized. This is some organ playing right here. Ooh. Missing Leo 714, missing Leo 714, missing Leo 714, missing Leo 714, missing Leo 714. Okay, that was uncomfortable. That, that creeped me out for a second. Why is Tommy in it FaceTiming me right now? Jesus. Okay, you know, I'm turning the lights on. I'm not sitting in the dark. Jesus Christ. All right. Hello? Hey, Jack. What? You should die. Are you also wearing a tubbo hoodie? Sorry, I... Are you also wearing a tubbo hoodie, though? Hey. Why? Bold. Did you... You have anything else to say? You're just gonna... You mean in a video game, by the way, right? You mean in a video game. You should die you mean... in a real No, 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 you said in a video game. Hey, Jack. I'm getting you banned. You should die. In a video game, in a video game. Guys! Tommy in it, he's done, his cameo's done. Wave bye-bye, wave bye-bye to Tommy in it. He's gone, we're getting rid of him. Guys, we're gonna cut Tommy in it off. Bye bye. I'm not getting banned because of that son of a bitch. I'm sorry, I'm not getting banned. I'm not getting banned. I don't like him. I don't like him. I, I don't. I don't. If I liked him, maybe I'd keep him on because at the end of the day, he would be my friend and therefore I'd want to do him a favor. But he's just a child who's trying to get me banned on Twitch. Guys, he meant in a video game. If he said it, if you thought you heard him say in real life, he, he said it in a video game. It just, the mic picked it up weird. I don't know. It's weird. Weird guy. Strange guy. Anyway. Let's move on. Back to the Walton files. Listen, 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 listen.
Okay. I really didn't need to come off the Tom Simon's phone call to this. I didn't need that. I didn't need that. I didn't need this. I don't remember my face. Okay. Cool. Um is kind of starting to make more sense to me. I mean, as much How are you as chill? I'd be in tears. I'd like be in fucking tears. I did not need to That was Speaking to Tommy and it only made that worse. I just want you to know that always weakens my soul. My soul couldn't take that. I couldn't. I couldn't. I couldn't. I people, people that I think I knew when I was younger. I knew these people and for some reason my brain just forgot about them or what happened to them. I doubt they're alive anymore. I mean, maybe they are, but it's unlikely because I would have heard from them by now. And this, this game really tries to make it seem like- Why is the well looking at the missing died? poster? Not in very pleasant ways either. I really don't want to think about it anymore, but Jesus. It's the drugs. No, I get it, but still, like, fuck me, man. It's crazy. Digging deeper into this is the best decision, but curiosity is killing me right now. Oh, Jesus. Oh, heavens, this place is so beautiful. Hi, Is it? Didn't expect to see you here. What are you doing here? Oh, I just really wanted to check on you and see if everything is all right. Oh, that's so sweet from you. Oh, dear. However, I already finished my tasks, but you can stick around if you want. Ah, uh, she's crewmate. She finished her tasks. Bun, Bun, she can't be sus. Bun was accusing her of being sus, but she's finished her tasks. So uh, ultimately, Shah is the good one. She's not the imposter. Let's just leave this section. Guys, let's just leave. Because ultimately, she's done her tasks. I checked behind me for a creature. Okay. That sounds fun. What would you like to play? What about hide and seek? Oh, I love that game. I'll hide. Great. This is going to be fun. Okay. Why does it sound like SpongeBob? Let's not question it. Let's just let's just carry on. Entrapper, thank you for the sub. Appreciate it. Entrapter, sorry. Alright. I thought that said sex. I thought it said sex. It looked like it said sex. I'm sorry, it looked like it said sex. Why is she a burger, by the way? I unironically thought it said SEX with three exclamation points and she was a burger. I... Look, am I great at reading? No, I'm not. I'm not great at reading. Oh, why does this look like... need to find a sheep. Why does it look like this? The rest of the game does not look like this. Why does it look like this? That looks like a, like a, this over here looks like a thing. It looks like a, like a person. Nothing to see here. Right. Oh yeah, it's gone. It's gone. There, there was a thing there. What the fuck? That's gone. Someone's at the graves? Oh! Oh shit, E and M. That's the fucking Walton kids, isn't it? What were they called? Ed and Molly? That's the Walton kids. Oh shit, wait, my oh my brain. Hold on, wait. There's this figure here, then there's two graves. They go into the woods, and the graves have been opened or dug up. I can't tell if they're corpses or not. And the fucking figure's gone. That's interesting. Okay. Because that, that's definitely the Walton kids. Streamer starts to get it. Hey, I, I like this shit. I love, I love figuring out lore like this. Hey, if, it were, if, I, were, I, if I wasn't Jack Manifold, I'd be Jack Pat. And I'm just saying that right now. Because I know my shit. 
Teletubbies. This looks like the Teletubbies. Nothing to see here. There definitely looks like there is something in that woods back there, actually. Okay. That's that grey bunny near their graves. Who was made for them. I understand that. The note on the ground. Read the note. No, read the note. The, the note. The no you just went over it. You just hovered over it. Read it. Read the note. Read the note. Oh, she's there. Congratulations! My toes are literally curled because nothing's. You found me. That was nice. I had so much fun playing with you. How about you had now? Genuinely. I don't know why this bit's got me so on edge. My my fucking toes, like genuinely, I'm doing this. I'm doing this. I, I've curled my fucking toes up. I I don't know why. I'm just like this. I I I actually hate it. I've curled my fucking toes. Ah! Oh! God, this bit. God Nine Almighty. With manifold, toes clenched. Hey, what was that? What was that? Found me. Gee, oh god. I had so much fun playing with you. How about you hide now? Oh, hide now. Okay. Oh, Jesus. Alright. Okay. Okay. Oh, Jesus. That's loud. I hate that it's too loud sometimes. This, this is too loud. Oh, she's found you. She's there. She's found you. She's found you. Leave. Run away. Run away. Run away! She's found you. You have been located. Fucking moron. She found you. My still beautiful to you, Sophie. Oh Jesus. I know you found you. I'm a coward. 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 Hold on. I'll carry on, but fuck. That was. That was. I'm a coward. I know where he is, Rosie. Follow me. Okay. I'm a coward! I'm sorry, I'm scared. Oh yeah, her name in game is Soapy, not Sophie. So like, that's like some like, fuck like, you know. Don't she's hot! Cause she asks if she's beautiful, she's not. Oh, okay. What does that say? That looks like it says furry, that word. That looks like it says furry. Why does it say furry? Okay, so that's all the people that are dead. Oh, there's the well. There's a weird fucking well. Oh yeah, that was- I guess that wasn't acknowledged much. What's up with that? Oh, this is some pet sculpture shit. 
don't know why this reminds We should watch Petscop next, by the way. Chat. That, that's, that's fun. Oh. Who's there? Um, is that a bear? Of course, it's Freddy Fazbear. I told you Freddy Fazbear got fucking arrested! He's guilty! He's guilty! Come one and come all. Welcome to my magic fountain of memories. Fuck off. Freddy Fazbear, I told you he got arrested! That's why it was Bonds, because he got arrested. Enter your most repressed experiences and get ready to be amazed by my magic. Oh, she's going to see all our memories in here. Let's take a small trip down memory lane, shall we? Tell me, what is it you would like to remember? Funny mail page. It's just gonna be Walton. Oh no, okay. Who... Uh... You. Vanessa? Oh, all right. Baldy basics? I, I don't know. Is she, is, she, is she drawing a dick and balls? Oh, I thought she was genuinely going to draw a penis. Here goes nothing. What do you mean? He goes, oh. What? Oh. Holy shit. That's my old house. Hello, I Bob. I'm so glad you're here to help me clean the car base. Okay, the bear's in the background. All that's left to do is change. The Tommy in it phone. Hello? Felix? Jeff? What is it? Listen, I was, I was wondering if you could give me a girl with a small favor tonight. Oh, I, I don't know, Jack. Today's been a it's, it's about uh, an emoli. They have a school event tonight. A school party and they have no one to pick them up. I need to stay at the workshop to finish the paperwork and... Well, sis, um, take himself to the dentist. We were wondering if we could pick him up for the event and take him home later. To tonight? Yeah, if it's possible, of course. Just sure, I can do that. Really? Yeah, sure. Oh, thanks for bothering your, your lifesaver, Felix. <laughs> it, it's nothing. All right, so I'll pick him up at five and get him home at nine. Well, she should be home by then. If she's not, you call me. Better? Got it. I remember this conversation. Okay, so that's... Okay, Felix. He's an alcoholic. Oh, drunk driving. Okay, here we go. Right, okay. I'm putting the pieces together. I'm putting the pieces together. All right, drunk driving. Drunk driving incident. Oh, yes, a lifesaver. Yeah, I'm... For this memory seems to be buried deep within your mind. You must find them, Sophie. Oh my god, I gotta take a deep breath. That was this. Uh, this is this just got so much deeper than I thought. And now I think I I know what's happening. I recognize these faces, all of them. I I know all of them. Okay. Oh, hello. The big bear. What's the gift, mate? G give her, give her the gift. Give her the fucking. Don't be a dickhead about it. Just give it a silly bear. The face. Did I see that? What? Do I see what? Can I see what? 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 What, what face? I, I didn't see the face. I didn't see the face. Brighton High Spring Party. 
Okay, that's, okay, that's where the kids are going, I assume. Jesus. Sophie, I think, since she's recording this, is the first Let's Player, by the way. Someone just said that in chat, and I think that's true. I don't think anyone had done a Let's Play prior to this. You know, this is like the 80s. Also, Lexus the Menace, thank you for the Prime, appreciate it. Also, the ads start in five minutes, so if you do want to avoid them, since this is the most climactic part of probably the whole thing, then, uh, please. You know how to avoid them. It's a sub. A Prime's completely free. All you have to do is link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch. You get to avoid the ads. Jack lights off. No, I don't think I will. What's that crying about? Oh. The kids. The kids. He's got a hat now. Hey, thank you to all the people who just subbed. Thank you to, uh, Azria's Dosart. Thank you to Puffball Plays. Thank you to Lebitch. Thank you to Colmas here. Thank you to Foracle. Thank you to Mechanic Gopher. Thank you to Mothman 900. Thank you to Noimuk. Appreciate it. Really, really do. You guys will not be seeing a single ad. That's aside. Thank you as well. All right. Use Walton kids have got weird fucking smiles. A lot of use Waltons. I don't like the fact that you guys compare these smiles to this. It's not fair. Hey, Smith the Joy, thank you for gifting a sub. Thank you to everyone who's subbing right now. It really does mean a lot. Thank you so, so much. 200 subs today is insane. Thank you. Really. We need to get ready for the school party, Molly. Come on. Oh. I'll be ready in a minute, Ed. I'm looking for Rocket. Oh, Rocket's the gray bunny, right? That old doll, forget about it. We need to get ready. Uncle Felix will be here any minute. The bitch, thank you for the five gifted subs. What does that say? What did that say? This text is red and I can't read it. That's Ed and Molly. I can't read that. That's Ed and Molly. Found it. We can go now. <laughs> the little fucking. Unknown power guy, thank you for the prime. Oh. Okay, we're at school. Alright, what's the bunny doing? Melina, thank you for the sub as well. Okay. <laughs> Someone just put in chat, now that interstate is paved with memories, and I feel like that is... I feel like that we're going to regret joking about that in a second. Fucking, now that interstate is paved with memories. I feel like it's going to be paved with maybe something less pleasant. I'm, I'm just taking a guess. You don't have money? It's okay, you can watch the ads. Trust me, you can still see the stream in the top right hand corner, you just can't hear things, but there's subtitles on. It'll just be small. Watching the ads really does support me, so I really appreciate it. Echo B, thank you for the Prime. Okay. Over here. Oh, 
Oh, oh, now they're playing as the kids. Oh, fuck. Okay. Nine months. Thanks, Gubo. Oh, hello. All right, we finally found Rocket. Now, can we leave? Yeah, the school looks very creepy at night. Here's Uncle Felix anyways. Question mark. That doesn't make sense. He should be somewhere around here. We should look for him. Oh, they put where is Uncle Felix anyways, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, it's just difficult to see. Where's Uncle Felix? All right. Let's have a look for Uncle Felix. But why were they dead already? They're not. They're not dead already. Definitely not. That's not what this implies. Absent Riviri, thank you so much for the sub, appreciate it. He's rocking the far corner. Everyone's rocking the far corner in this. Drinking zone. What? Oh, they're definitely going to find Felix there, but why is there a drinking zone in a high school? What the fuck do you mean, drinking zone? Wait, what was that? What did he say? I didn't hear that. Uncle Felix, what are you doing here? This is a drinking zone. You shouldn't be drink. It's okay. I'm really feel- I'm- Oh, wait, it's okay. I'm really feeling a little dizzy. It's getting very late. Your parents must be worried. Let's, I assume, get home. Thank you for the five gifted sub, forgot Kaya. Appreciate it. Yay, two months already. Thank you. Yeah. See. Driving time. Now that interstate is paved four with... Months what? We'll give it a second. How much is left till we get home? Not much. Just, just kind of lost, I think. Uncle Felix? Aww. What are you drinking? M Y Q. Our teacher says drinking is not right. No, no, no. I'm just, I'm, I'm just, I'm just. I'm just feeling busy. It's, it's not that big of a deal, alright? Oh, it's sad. Now it's making me- I was gonna make a dream interstate joke. Molly, we're, we're almost there. Don't you think you're driving too fast? Listen, I'm just- uh, uh, I'm just trying to get you to- I'm just trying to get you to home quickly, alright? Look, I'm, I'm sorry, I just, I'm not feeling too good right now. The bitch, thank you for another five gifted. I just want to lay in the bed and go to sleep. It's alright. We get that today wasn't the best for you. We understand. I'm going to move my camera because that's interesting. Wait, hold on. Listen to that again. I'm not feeling too good right now. I really just, just I just want to lay in the bed and go to sleep. It's alright. We get that today wasn't the best for you. We understand. Everything is gonna be okay. <laughs> Thanks, Molly. I assume that's to do with his divorce. I'm gonna guess. I'm gonna guess this is basically the day he divorced. It seriously is it? Wait. I just want to check this part again. We're 52 minutes in. All right. Just want to check this part again. Oh, I, I don't know, Jack. Today's been. It's, it's about. Uh... Yeah, it's, uh, I think he got divorced that fucking day, and then he was like, "Jesus Christ, that was kind of irresponsible on fucking thingy's part to expect him to be in a, in a state of mind." But at the same time, also, Felix should not drive drunk. But at the same time, I feel like Jack, knowing his alcoholic tendency, which I assume he does, because they're close, you think you wouldn't go on the day of the guy's divorce. Hey, pick up my kids. I know you're not going to drink irresponsibly and kill them. 
<laughs> you know what I mean? Um, I feel like Walton equally should have just had a fucking bigger think about that, you know? It's so fucking sweet, though, the kids, bless them. Oh. Oh no, you got the bad ending. You can finish the barn tasks in time. Oh dear. Nine months. Let's go smiling. You crashed the car, you killed them. Oh, fucking hell. Okay, just said that. Okay. Oh, he's in tears. He's upset. He's sad. I would be, mate. You killed him, in fairness. Hello, Mr. Man. Uh, uh, hello. Hi. Oh, hello, Rocket. Oh, all right. Bye bye. Oh, Rocket's still there. Night. Really, really power? You didn't say. He was too oh, oh shit. What? Oh yeah, Hello, they. Mr. Manifold. Oh, what the fuck? Twelve months, my beloved. Thank you for the twelve months. Oh, do they get inside rocket? Oh shit. Oh shit, okay, so this is where it all begins. They get inside Rocket. That's what the thing earlier meant when like, you know when like, I, I said there's like a figure, and then there's like, the two graves, and then there's no, and then like the graves go weird, and then there's a bunny on the graves. That makes sense now. Okay, hey Rocket. Oh Jesus, fuck it out. Please don't do that. 25 new messages. Felix, pick up the phone. Now, I need you to pick up the phone. Oh, of course, he doesn't know his kids are dead, does he? It's been three years. Shit, yeah, shit, because he's just fucking went and buried his kids out in the fucking field. Oh, Jesus. Oh, you're saying the kids were still alive. Oh, that's even worse. Oh, he's just like, he's like, ah, bury them. And then they're fucking, oh, Jesus. Since they told you to get Ed and Molly home. That's awful, fuck. What happened to my children? If anything happened to us, you must tell me. You haven't told me in three hours. I need to know what's going on. I'm trying to call you all night. What the hell is wrong with you? I... I've been trying to come back here all night. I've been calling everyone for you. What the hell is wrong with you? Oh, you know, that face you made me know. jump. I didn't spot that. I asked you to do one simple favor for me. I need to know where are they? Where are you? But that's not all, is it? There's still something you forgot to remember. <laughs> forgot to remember. For you. What I want to know is what happened to Jack, though. I assume... Um, Palmy's now thinking that Felix killed him. So obviously Felix killed the kids, but Palmy then feels like Felix may have killed... Um... Oh, shit. No, wait. Hold on. I'm not going to theorize just yet. God, this is creepy. Fucking opera. I will never see opera the same again. And I'm known for my love of opera. Oh, Bond's got no face. I reckon Jack's gonna be Bond. I've said that before, but I, I thought that from the start. But I, I, I'm very certain now. Yeah, hey, Bond. You're gonna be Jack Walton, aren't you? Open the gift. Yep. Six months, let's go. Thank you. Oh, no, no, he's, she's, oh, it's just clicking on all the different, yeah, yeah, the sheep and shit, I get it. 
Never mind. No, no, no that's, that's all the different animatronics. That wasn't Bun. That was uh, Banny. Okay. I assume it's Jack. Oh, okay. Interesting. Okay, why do they put a hat on him? The kids went and put a hat on him earlier. Okay, that's... Yep. You're gonna be Jack, aren't you? I'm certain of it. I'm so sure. Is this a TikTok audio? I, I, oh. Admittedly, admittedly, that was kind of cringy. I don't mean the song Daisy Daisy. I mean that specific warped version. I didn't mean... I didn't fucking mean the song Daisy Daisy as if it was like made for TikTok. <laughs> Fuck's sake. That was the most Gen Z sentence I've ever said. All right. Whoa, calm it, mate. Come on, get a grip. Uh, fl tr flash. Warning, sorry about that. Yes, we get it. You're in, you're both in rocket. Oh, that's the rest of the link. That's the rest of the link. That's the rest of the YouTube link. Hold on. Right, okay. That's the rest of the YouTube link. Shit. I don't. Okay. This, that's the rest. Okay. Uh, no shit. D T Y W S is O nine I L. That could be a few things. I'm gonna assume it's L and just go from there. Uh, I'm just gonna copy the rest because I'm pretty confident on the rest of the letters there. Um, is that it? Oh, I made a I made a typo. This video is not available anymore, so I'm going to assume it's not that one. Moving on to the next option, which is that is a lowercase l. Okay. It's not a lowercase l. Did I try capital I? Can't remember now. Okay. Uh, what about if it's a one? That makes sense. Huh. There's no video, so either I've typed it wrong. Hold on. I just want to try this out. Sorry, this is just confusing me. Is this a lowercase h? And then, I don't know, L. Huh, sorry, I'm just really intrigued. Nope. I just want to try and get this right, because, like, fuck it, it's a fun little challenge, isn't it? Uh, I... I have watched the Walton files through like 10 times because of YouTubers reacting to it. Dot and had nightmares every time. I ain't sleeping tonight, smiley face. Apparently. The first half of it had one of the letters. I know it was H. It was uh, in my head. It's H D T Y W S I Z zero nine L. I think it's a lowercase l. I know it's in the playlist, but I want to do it. I want to. I want to work it out. I just want to work it out for me. All right. Oh, I missed a bit. Oh, never mind. All right, we'll leave it then. Should we watch it now? Or should we finish this first and then watch it? No, we probably should watch it as it shows up, right? No, it's literally got a minute left. We'll. we'll... Oh no! This is this is the end. This is the credits. No, still, we'll, we'll wait. My God, that was fucking God. God Almighty, that was creepy. What I'm curious about is where did Jack Walton go? Because that's still not been covered yet. I'm going to assume it's in the last video. That or we're gonna have to watch a game theory. One or the other. There's very few options for a man like me right now.
that ended quite abruptly. Okay. All right. Guess we're watching Guilty. Hello, Jack. Hello. Sorry, I just need to like process that one a bit. So, we learned through the game that Sophie Walton has been suppressing all her memories because of her meds, right? But why she's not with the family anymore? Oh, unless she was removed because of what happened and, and then just forgot about it. I, whatever, we don't know. We don't know what happened to Jack Walton, but we know his wife, Rosemary's inside of Shah. We know his children inside of Rocket. Um, I don't know who... Who the fuck is, is inside the Games Master? You know there was that dude? There was obviously the main technician who's inside of Banny. Then there was that dude who's inside, like, the, the Games Master type guy. Um, obviously we know, um, what's her name? Charles. Who's Charles? Was it Brian? It could be Brian. We don't know where, where, um, Brian is. Everyone's saying Charles. Who's Charles? Who was Charles? Boozu, yeah. Who's Charles? Who was he? I don't remember him. No, Charles is the ring- Oh, we haven't met him yet. From the second video. No, I know Charles is inside of Boozu, but who is he? Like, prior to that. You'll see him soon. Oh, maybe he's in this video. Alright, we'll work it out. We'll figure it out. We'll watch this one before we start speculating, because I feel like there's still some questions. Like, where's Jack Walton? Who's that Charles guy? Um, what happens to Felix? Uh, yeah. Hiya, Jack. Hoper, having a good night. I am, thank you. Hope you are as well. See what's going off. Pets got next. Um, maybe. I want to watch the man. I want to watch the Mandela catalog, as well as Petscop. So I don't know whether to watch the Mandela catalog catalog yet, and then Petscop, or maybe. I mean, I I want to do both, at some point. I've heard the Mandela catalog's very good. Everyone say Mandela. Yeah, we'll watch the Mandela catalog soon. We'll watch that soon. That'll be the next thing I watch, I think. My name is Felix Franken. Hey, f I hey. I want to greet all of you to the company. Fuck off. My friend Jack about you killed children. About working with Brick. All of you. Here at Bunny Smiles, we believe that all it takes to achieve our dreams is hope. Would you like to achieve this dream with us? Great. As of now, our team isn't very big, <laughs> just like our budget. <laughs> but hey, we have hope. And in my opinion, that's all It's that so matters. sweet. It's so sad to see, like, the fucking guy devolve. Because he seems so optimistic there. You know what I mean? That doesn't sound like a man with crippling alcoholism who's, like, like lying to those kids. That sounds like a man with some fucking hope. I don't know. Greetings. Felix here. I really just wanted to give all of you dedicated BSI employees a small farewell message. I hope you all have a very Merry Christmas and a wonderful New Year's Eve. I hope to see all of you in a few months. It, it's crazy how far we've made it. Just everything, really. The Cyberfund tech deal, the Bonds Burgers project, it's incredible. I never thought I, we, would have made it far. And I'm proud of all of us. Y'all should feel proud, too. And I'm very much looking forward to seeing all of you next year. Okay, still sounds pretty fine, I would say. Seventy four. That's the year of the closure, I believe, right? Oh, after the car crash. Oh, God, the crash happened quick. Of course it did. Yeah, because Rocket's the first, so of course it did. I used this when I was driving in, in the same conditions I, I, I messed up I, I have a problem and 
and this has been a problem for so long that I, I can't even remember. The, the first time I, I got drunk, I, I don't remember most stuff. <laughs> that, 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 that's, that's probably why I carried this, this recorder with me. So, that, that's probably why I'm recording this in the first place. Because <laughs> I know. <laughs> I know I'll wake up tomorrow and I'll think this was all just a nightmare. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> that. And. Molly are okay. <laughs> oh, but. It's weird how they both have half a smile each. It's weird. I feel like that means something. But they're mad. Uh, they're not. They were just chilling. <laughs> Jack. Oh, right. God, what am I going to tell Jack? I'm listening, mate. He would be devastated. It's his children, of course he would be. He said that as if it was like something specific about Jack. Like, he's going to be devastated when he finds out his children died. Like any fucking parent would. What? He, sorry, I don't know. He, that, sorry, sorry. He's, he's, he's crying. I shouldn't. That, that's why I buried him. Just... Just the idea of Jack seeing what happened to him. Jack's been the best friend I've ever had. I'd, I'd never do that to him. That's when the when the when the accident occurred. I just I just panicked and I buried him in the forest. Say you wanna say you wanna forest the forest next to the the road the road in which the accident occurred. I, I, I can't even. I can't remember where I buried. <laughs> I literally can't even. Sorry, he he he. I can't even, and I couldn't. What the fuck? What am I gonna do now? <laughs> the restaurant's gonna open next month. Oh, the restaurant opens after this. <laughs> Hello, Rocket. You're right. Oh. Shit, man, this story's really sad. I'll be honest, like, it's not even that it's creepy, it's just fucking... I mean, it is, but it's just sad, man. I feel like this is it. I, I don't feel like nothing's gonna happen for the rest of this. And there's so many unanswered questions. Is that it? Is it genuinely done? There's got to be something, surely. That was it. Fuck! That's the whole Walton Files! Uh, anyway, in memorial of uh, Edward Walton, Molly Walton. Ed, 12, and Molly, 9, died Thursday, May 2nd, 1974, in a fatal car accident. The leaving a party made by their school to celebrate spring. Jack Walton, father, husband, couldn't take the kids to the celebration because of work. A friend of Mr. Walton would take the kids instead. On the way back home, Jack's friend would be driving in questionable conditions, thus crashing his car near the road next to St. Juana's Forest. Instantly taking both Edward and Molly's lives. You will be remembered, our little angels, our little red children. <laughs> Fuck. 
Fuck. Yeah. That, that actually, I like that comment. Wait, I want to go back to that because I gave it a quick read as I was going past. And this is a good point. I really like this. I really do like this. It's the um. I love that Felix isn't some cold, sadistic killer who suddenly kills off his business partner's entire family for money. A scared man who chooses worse ways to deal with his problems is a more interesting antagonist. Like he's a flawed guy, and like you, I definitely don't like him, and I, but I still like feel sorry for him. I guess. I don't know. I don't know. Wait, there's more? Is there more? Um. I mean, there's more here, but why is it not in the playlist? Oh, bonus videos. What's Boozoo's Ghosts? Oh, that's really long, Jesus. Oh, it's non-canon. Okay, we'll leave it then. We'll leave it then. Right! It's a fictional story. Yeah, of course. No, it's it's sad. It's Apparently, it's good. Look, I'm not going to watch the non-canon episodes tonight. Maybe we'll go back, like, on another stream and just, like, watch, like, the non-canon stuff. Because people are saying it's cool. Uh, but I'm really intrigued. I'll be honest. There's a lot of unanswered questions. Because there's still... What happened to Jack Walton? Um, who was... <sighs> Does Felix continue to then... This is what I want to know. After Felix kills the kids, is he then involved in the... Um... Like... Like, is he involved in putting the people inside the animatronics from that point onwards to try and cover up? Or are the angered and possessed animatronics killing people? You know what I mean? That's what I want to know, right? Because, um... Sophie... Obviously... Um, we don't know where she is. We assume that Jack's looking for her. I always took Rosemary going in, looking for Jack, and then hearing a voice going, I know where she is, being about Sophie. Um, you know. There's so much, like, I'm curious about, you know? Say, so, what was this? Someone put something. Go to where is Jack Walton website. There's a website for that? Let me Google it. Uh, where is Jack Walton? There is a website. Okay. Uh, oh, no, no. It's, it's a wiki. God, he's fucking creepy looking, though, Jack Walton. I hate the faces. The faces are so uncanny. Just look at that shit. Oh. Oh. Apparently, there's a new episode coming soon. And what I'll probably do is because, uh, obviously, this has been, like, three hours of footage. And I still want to watch the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, like theories around it. Everyone's saying the next part video is really good, so we'll probably watch that now. Um, but genuinely, that was a really, really good little series. And what we'll probably do on the next stream is I'll watch the next part video now, and then the next stream, we'll watch episode four when it comes out, and we'll watch all the non-canon stuff as well. Um, that way, uh, that'll work. Find Jack Walton. Alright, let's have a look. Find JackWalton.com Here we go. Let's have a look at this. So there's this as well, just tagged onto the end. Uh, Cyberfund Tech. Happy New Year's 1982. Okay. Under construction. Due to the recent projects, all Cyberfund Tech workshops and services will be unavailable for this new year. So to pull all our focus on our brand new project coming your way. Put all our focus, sorry. Put your For your information, apply for work or any collaboration ideas for the distant future. You can still reach us by letter or calls on something. See you 82. Okay. Oh, there's a lot to read. Okay, let's give it a read. Since 1943, Cyberfund Tech has been a company dedicated to explore and push the limits of the modern world's technology, and what better way to do so than entertainment? Originally founded by Jason Pultrick... Why is that letter a slightly different color? It's just interesting. Um, oh, there's a hidden message in different color. Okay, well, let's just... Um, let me just put some backing music on while we read. Okay, we can go back to no lights. All right, let's give this a read. <clears throat> okay. And what better way to do so than entertainment? Originally founded by Jason Pultrick, 1889 to 1952, CT started as a company made to manufacture small casino machines and games, its first creation being the advanced jackpot system. Since then, Jason expanded his team onto a full-on company made to investigate, research, and develop revolutionary systems for the maximum level of entertainment in the palm of your hands. Throughout the years, we've worked with, uh, with, sorry, we've worked with amusement parks, yes, even for the mouse himself, casinos, theaters, restaurant chains, even that one bowling alley on Cross Street. 
On March 19th, 1952, Mr. Poltrick died of heart failure. His son eventually took over the company, honoring his father's legacy by pushing limits of recent technology even further. Along only some of the very... Wait. Along with some of the very best technicians across America, we've been able to not only develop games that manage to amaze our clients' minds, but we've managed to make our games develop a mind of their own. A cutting-edge a cutting edge new method of artificial intelligence. Oh, okay, so artificial technology. So that's fucking AI shit. Which might explain why the game in its beta stage had like some weird adaptive sort of like cursed shit. Interesting. A game breaker is what it is. We're taking a new step in technology and entertainment. Machines able to resemble the actions of a real life performer. And I'm not talking about singing or dancing, but rather interacting with its audience and surroundings like a real person would. We may even be able to have our machines directly address our clients by name by a recognition system we've been developing over the years. Which might explain why it could recognize Sophie. MP Local, 57 June 20th, 1974. Okay, so the 1974 is obviously... You know. In Cyberpunk Tech, our main focus has always been putting a smile on the faces of children across the US. Our company was made for all those small people with big minds, like our founder. That's why we're always open to work with people that can bring something new and innovative to our offices. If you or any friends of yours would like to work with us, feel free to apply to our technology for the future fair with a full prototype of your idea. One of our assistants will reach out to you in a few days or after your application in case you're elected to participate on the fair. We've met a lot of bright minds across the years using our me this method since the 1960s. The 1982 technology and future fair has been cancelled due to CT schedules and focus on greater projects. If you'd like to apply to the 1983 fair, feel free to give us a call. Right. What I'm curious about is... Uh, there is a hidden message in this site. I can see it. So it's B. But the thing is, that's green. And some of these are blue. I think. Okay, pull trick. So B, R. B, R, I. B, R, I, G. H. I was going to say Brighton a bit. T. O. Wait. G. H. Yeah. T. O. N. Okay. Brighton. Okay. I'm just double checking there's no letters I'm missing. Oh, I've put it over here. Sorry, I'm an idiot. Sorry, my bad. Put it over here. Sorry, my bad, my bad, my bad. Uh, Brighton. Uh, G. H. Wait, I'm just double checking. I'm not missing anything. H. O. G H. I'm just making sure I haven't missed anything because that doesn't make sense. G H. Wait, wait, what? I'm missing something, surely. Okay, yeah. H. Okay. H O. Uh. S. S. Brighton Ghosts is exactly what it says. Brighton Ghosts. Weird. Uh, try that. No, okay. Just curious if there's any, um... Hold on, how do you... Shit, I, I used to know computers better than this. Um, uh, I used to know fucking HTTPS. Uh, no, uh, I used to do HTML. Um, you can type something on... That's a website, put it in the URL. Wait, Brighton... Is it .com? No, that's I, I don't want to open that on stream in case it's not. Um, slash Brighton Ghosts, maybe? Whoa, that's fucking creepy. Jesus Christ. Um, 
Whoa, that website fucked me up. Okay, wait, hold on. Made me jump. Uh. Okay. Investigation in order to amass the greatest secrets of Brighton, Michigan. That's the bunker. That's the fucking bunker. It's not actual ghosts. It's just a photo of me in my Halloween costume on 2007. <laughs> nice. Greetings, fellow investigators. My name is Anthony Miller. I used to live in Arizona with my mom. On 2011, we moved to Michigan after a work offer popped up. I've been living in Brighton since. It's a pretty quiet and beautiful town to live in, but there's not much to do. That's when I decided to call my very own ghost hunter, Ghostbuster. I'm still working on a name. This is also not an actual ghost. It's just an edit of me as a Ghostbuster from 1984 movie. Thanks to my friend Stephanie for the edit. Worth the 10 bucks. Uh, I realized my destiny was chasing the multiple mysteries around this town and try and solve as much as I can. As I've become the mystery solver, I was very successful and popular too. I even got that on the news a few times. School student gives up grave under influence of drugs. Oh, wait, hold on. Uh, on the morning of June 20th, teenager Anthony Miller, also locally known as the Mystery Solver, was taken in police custody after attempting to steal got multiple graves in Fairview Cemetery. Miller claims he saw a ghost by the graves. It was later revealed that Anthony was under the influence of marijuana. Mystery Solver strikes again. Anthony Miller was, uh, wait. Anthony Miller was arrested on August 8th by, um, after causing a fire by accident on local hot dog store, Playa Vista. Witnesses say Anthony was attempted to do an exorcism by on an allegedly possessed, possessed dog. During the process, Miller dropped a candle, immediately setting the entire store on fire. Unfortunately, unfortunately, no one's hurt. He's an idiot, unnamed hot dog store owner. You could say I became some sort of hero in my town, saving the innocent citizens from the cold, cruel hands of the supernatural. After countless mysteries solved, I finally raised enough money to set my very own page regarding my passion job. Welcome to BrightonGhost.com, where I study and analyze how all supernatural things work. You can help by donating to my blog here. Um, for future mystery hunts and other ghost-related projects, also check out my YouTube channel, which is there. Ghost studies, research, and analysis, trying to explain the unexplainable. Let's try to make some sense of the supernatural. Jesus Christ Almighty! The... Oh, you can't click on these. They're not actually links. These are, though. Oh, no, these aren't as well. Okay. Hold on. Uh... Okay, that's literally just text. There's nothing hidden within that. Cool. Um, okay. The links are fake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I've noticed that. Um, oh, hold on. Okay, that's how you donate to the blog. I am here. Name. They say that falling in love is wonderful. It's wonderful, so they say. Hold on. It's really difficult to read. Um... God, this goes so deep. Jesus. All right, hold on. They say that falling in love is wonderful. It's wonderful, so they say. And with the moon up above, it's wonderful. It's wonderful, so they tell me. I can't recall who said it. I know I never read it. I only know they tell me that love is grand. And the thing that's known as romance is wonderful, wonderful in every way, so they say. To leave your house some morning and without any warning, you're stopping people shouting that love is grand. And to hold a girl in your arms is wonderful, wonderful in every way, so they say. Uh, okay. Is that just open his channel? Alright, it opens Martin's channel. That's fine. Uh, what do ghosts do in the land of the living? Okay. And then there's just a picture. Is there anything else? What about the contact us here button? What does that do? Whoa, fucking hell. Jesus fucking Christ. Jesus! This is awful. Slash help? Does that work? No, okay. Uh, nothing on the site at all. Anything at all. Uh, that's just the file to the image. Uh, it doesn't seem like there's anything in this site. Uh, hold on. Okay. Nothing on the site. Search up Rosemary on the website. Hold on then. Let me go back. On this site? Wait, hold on. Actually, hold on. Wait, this is a fucking... I am here. Okay. Uh, anything else to uncover? What about underneath this? Nope, nothing. Um... Cool. Alright, just checking. Um... Nope, it's just a picture. Alright, never mind. Uh... 
Is it search rosemary on the site? Well, so findjackwalton.com slash rosemary? No. Uh, rosemary Walton. Ah! That works. Okay. Wonder if any other names work. What about Sophie Walton? There's so much! Jenny Letterson. Oh, she was the engineer, right? Oh, let's have a look. No, 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 actually, that's not. She was... Well, there's literally nothing on this one. What is there? There's something you can do on this site. There's a script. I'll close that a second. I'll go back to that one. The pages used to be different. That's so that's so weird. Why do Oh my god, the, the, that is long. How do I end with a ghost? Can you talk to a ghost? Oh Jesus, there's so much. A ghost's real. Is it possible to play poker with a ghost? <laughs> Can a ghost kill me? Oh, that's... Okay. None of these work. None of these work. God, there's so much going off. Um... Rocket Bunny. Sorry, the sound, the fucking Undertale sound caught me. Old doll. Um. Hello. Wait. Uh, no. Just, just Walton. Does that do anything? No. Um. Boozoo. Boozoo ghosts. Uh, Billy. No. Nope. Alright, I'm out of ideas. I tried, I tried, I tried. God almighty, that is so c creepy. That website as well. Everything about it. Oh, sorry, I got really into that, like, a I got really into ARG mode there, where, like, that was my shit for a second there. Oh, oh, the children's names. Alright, we'll try that as well. Uh, find Jack. We'll okay, we'll do one more. Findjackwalton.com slash... Um, uh, Ed Walton. All right, uh, I just tried that, nothing came up. Molly Walton? Also nothing. Nothing for the Waltons. Felix, oh, Felix, of course. Jesus, that's a stupid one, not trying Felix. Felix, what was his Less name? Cranked, what was it, what was his name? Felix what? What was his name? Kranken. That's it. Kranken. Let's pull this up again. Hold on. Felix Kranken has nothing. What about just Felix? Nope. Um, everyone's saying investigation. Investigation one? Ooh. But now God knows anything goes. Log seven eight. Ooh, okay. Uh, just cranking maybe. Nope. Um. So scroll sideways on the red side. Oh, that's an interesting little thought. Oh, he's down there. Didn't spot him there. Um, I can't. Uh, I can't see a way of doing it. Yeah, no, nothing that I can see. Huh. Go sideways on red page. You literally can't. Like, literally, I, I, I physically cannot. Weird. Weird. I'm not going to weigh back machine it. We could be here literally for the next year doing that shit. You know what I mean? 
We could literally sit here for the next year and try and like... You know. We, we could be here for a year. We don't have to. Click the eyeball on the right. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, fine. We'll do we'll do one more. One more, because that sounds interesting. Investigation one. I don't like that. Fuck off. Yeah, no, I'm done. 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 That freaked me the fuck out. Where's this next Poe video? Next Poe, uh, Walton Files. I'm watching that shit. How long is it? Oh my god, it's an hour 38. Ooh. Do we watch that now or do we watch it another time, do you think? It's an hour 38. Now? Alright. I've got it in me. Alright, we'll watch it. We'll watch the next Poe video. Watch it now. Let me pause the music. Let's have a watch. Warning! The following video contains graphical depictions and discusses uh, discussions about sensitive topics. Viewer discretion is advised. Yeah, we, we've already seen it all. Cheers, mate. We, we have already seen the lot. Wait, hold on. Someone said something in chat. Oh, is most of it just re-watching it? Uh, I... Hi, chat. Yeah, sorry. This is really well edited. I like this. Oh, fucking hell. Oh, yeah. I missed analog horror. Old school. Rough around the edges. And by every account, disturbing. Yeah, I'd give you that. I'd say it was disturbing. I was disturbed. What if I told you there was a series out there that's recently stood out to me as one of the creepiest that I've ever covered on this channel? What if I told you that it's nearly neck and neck in quality with the revered Local 58 that we know all too well? I don't know that. I don't know what that is. I told you that tonight. We're going to be pressing through that very series while dissecting its secrets and piecing together its grim lore. Well, as you can tell by the title and length of this video, that's because we are. Okay. Well, I'm Enter here. The Walton Files, a show birthed on April 26th of 2020 by Oh, it's like a couple years old. Walton Walls. Inspired by the hit indie classic Five Nights at Freddy's. Oh, so it is. Okay. Clear love for analog horror storytelling. Walls has crafted an insanely engrossing narrative surrounding four animatronics that were assembled for a burger restaurant named Bond's Burgers. The place opened in 1974. I can never not think that it's Bob's Burgers, though. You know, from the show, Bob's Burgers. I just keep thinking about it. Maybe we'll watch Local 58 one day. I've never heard of Local 58. We can, we can maybe give it a watch. It was known to host birthday parties, school events, and even animatronic concerts for the public. Was known to host these things. I didn't get the impression that the school event was hosted by Bonds. I'm not going to call him out on everything. I just... And maybe he'll justify it in a way that makes sense, but you know. I don't know. Because due to a few specific incidents, Bonds Burgers is no longer Local open 58. for business. I, 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 I know. I, I, I didn't know what it was until now, but thank you. Structure through just Appreciate it. Videos at the time of writing that each contain numerous tapes. Jumping back and forth between the date Bond's Burgers first opened in 1974 and eight years later in 1982. A mysterious person named Anthony seems to reside in each video's description and claims that these tapes were all- Oh, Anthony from the website. Oh shit, I didn't, I didn't read the descriptions. All made by an extinct company named Bunny Smiles. Okay. Now, Bunny Smiles is somewhat of the foundation here. The Fazbear Entertainment of this entire ordeal and the root of nearly every event that takes place. Deception, curiosity, loss, trauma, and regret have all found their home as cornerstones of this series and ultimately leave us questioning what exactly is happening with the Bonds Burgers restaurant 
and who had started this chain of events that ended up going so terribly wrong. Mm. As you can tell by the length of this video, this series is gargantuan with a disturbingly convoluted story that reflects that. And something that's fascinated me for quite some time. Oh, video's quiet, sorry. I'm incredibly eager to press through this side by side with all of you. So, without further ado, let's dig in. From the top, the Walton Files. Okay. Thanks for the 100 bits. Local 58 is like the earthbound of analog horror on YouTube. Most things are inspired by it in some way because it's so good. I haven't been able to finish it because it scared me so bad. Where do I actually get to? Oh, never mind. I don't know, maybe it was interactive, who knows? There used to be videos like that back in the day on YouTube, back when they used to have the embeds that you could pop pop in that they got rid of. Maybe, oh hey, don't laugh at me, I thought maybe. This is a compilation of tapes created by the already extinct Bunny Smiles Company. I oh, it's a compilation of tapes. Oh, that's why I was like, isn't it weird that that's in that, that tape? I was like, why is it it's weird that in the introductory tape, there's like that video of that guy getting killed. Now it makes more sense about what these tapes are, but all I could find was that they were handed to new employees back in 1974 to 1979. And the rest of them seemed to be recorded by a new Hello, facility caretaker man. in the year 1982. Hopefully- hey, Out of curiosity, mod check? Mod check? Do we have any mods still left standing? I haven't seen any in chat in a while. You might just be lurking. I just wanna, I'm just curious. What's the mod check looking like? I'm here. All right, chill. Just wanted to make sure. Thank you. I appreciate it. I can find more soon, Anthony. Company introductory tape, Archive One, 1974. Serving as the pilot episode for the Walton Files, the first archive within this company introductory tape understandably takes a more direct initial approach at introducing you to the main cast. And yeah, that's all it is. Just an ordinary employee training video. Slap our bald head so hard it takes a screenshot. No, don't! I need it! Hi, and welcome to the introductory tape to your new job at Bunny Smiles Incorporated. You have applied to a job in technical support and maintenance. Is this just what gonna play? What does this job particularly mean? It means that you, amongst other- Nitty gritty about what our new job actually- Okay. To have been Sorry, it just looked like it was going to play out. What does this job particularly mean? It means that you, amongst other employees, are the one who'll take care of creating a magical and fun experience for Bond's Burgers. As we've established, this first employee training video seems to have been created sometime in 1974. We're applying for a job in technical support and maintenance, and so far, it seems legit. Mm -hmm. After this brief introduction, the video goes forth to introduce us to the Bonds Burgers' main animatronic characters that make up a group called the Showstoppers, consisting of the eponymous Bond the Rabbit, Shaw the Lamb, Boozu the Ringleader, and Banny the Other Rabbit. The four lovingly perform a couple songs for us before we get into the nitty gritty about what our new job actually entails. Mm -hmm. Animated band made by BSI to entertain children. Oh, it doesn't mean animated in. Sorry. When it said animated, I took it as like. Animated like cartoons, and I realize they just mean animated as in they move, because that also means that, like, you know. Facility caretaker. Around this fun and magical journey, we'll work on certain tasks, such as cleaning protocols. Thank you, love. Appreciate it. Robot maintenance and repair. And learning how to use BSI technology. But first, here's a message from Jack Walton and Felix Kranken, our beloved founder. Which reads? In BSI, the most important thing to us isn't the money or the rating. The most important thing to us is that you have a wonderful experience while working with us. That being said, with the Bonds Burgers restaurant getting opened in a few weeks, we're looking forward to achieving this dream with you. Mm. Oh, wait, hold on. All right, hold up. I think it's read that. Uh, cool. All right, I feel like he's going to read it, so I'm not going to read it out loud. I just wanted to make sure I read it. because All know. right, hold up. 1975, closed for good Bonsburgers restaurant. Hmm. 
This video seems to have cut to an information catalog from a year later, giving us some insight into the fate of Bond's burgers. Before we get to what's new though, Binge boy, thank you for the sub. Two months, appreciate that stood it. Out to me. That photo of the founders seems oddly uncanny. Yeah, so does everything though, I can't in the, the whole put thing. My finger on it, but with Jack Walton especially, something definitely seems off. Anyway, that catalog houses a ton of information and context and appears to read the following. Save, restore, secure. The BSI storage facility, also known as K9, is a company project to storage all valuable items from the closed for good Bond's Burgers restaurant. Given the situations about the incidents inside the 1974 Bond's Burgers location, any type of props, animatronics, and arcade machines will be carefully moved, inspected, and secured inside a bunker located deep down in the St. Juanas Forest. Oh, it is in the forest. It is in the same forest where the kids died. will take care of securing the facility and keeping it safe and working properly. Okay. Hmm. Considering the fact that the initial role of the facility caretaker was to keep the restaurant clean, maintain the animatronics, and to learn BSI technology, I find it strange that they're now in charge of securing this top secret facility in order to keep it safe. Honestly, it seems like a pretty damn big job, and it leaves me questioning what they're keeping it safe from. If that's what they're doing, that is. What do you mean by that? Archive 2 1979. Here, we're presented with the children's cartoon created by a Sarah Evelyn. It's titled Bond's Super Sleepover and appears to convey a night where little Bond. You don't think that Sarah Evelyn is just like Sarah Walton, they just dropped her middle name. But surely not, right? I don't know. On just the Rabbit mm. had invited each animatronic's younger counterpart over for a night of movies and fun. Skyler, thank you for the gift of sub. Everything seems fine. However, when the narrator begins running through the guest list, we're promptly informed that this cartoon is not what it seems. For this sleepover, he invited Shah, Boozoo, and Billy. Let's check again in case we don't forget any guests. Bon invited Shah, Bozu, and... <laughs> hey, Jack, is that you? Yeah, mate, how you doing? Uh, <laughs> how are you, uh, it's my name, I've not made this joke before. I've not made this fucking joke before. He's got the same name as me. Good to see you, I didn't see you there, buddy. So, this definitely didn't help the initial... What can I say? I'm a comedian, I can't help myself. Photo. Clearly, he or someone he knows has inserted his face into these tapes, leaving us to wonder why this was done. After this, we get back to the main story, which involves Little Bond eagerly prepare the movie for everyone to watch. Weirdly, the VHS has that same creepy Jack face on it, and when it actually starts to play, the TV merely shows the text, Let me out of here. Oh, I didn't see that. Interestingly, if we take a look around the TV set, we can notice something suspect. A pill bottle with the name Sophie Walton written on it. This will be important later. So let's keep this in mind. Oh, so do you think Sophie made... Wait. Oh, that's interesting. So what? Sophie made this. Because those are... A, oh, it's, oh, I don't know. It's cool, though. Later on, everyone heads to bed. We're able to observe each character snoozing away. However, Little Bond seems to be awoken by something, making noise in the middle of the night. Skip it in a bit. We, we know what happens here. <laughs> he looks so shocked. I forgot about that. That scared the shit out of me again. Alright. 
So it seems that Little Bond glitches into a cartoon depiction of Sophie Walton, the girl whose pills we saw earlier by the TV. As we could see, when she lit the lighter, Bond appeared behind her, looking as if he had a massive hole in his chest. Furthermore, we can observe that Sophie's dressed up in some sort of work uniform with a name tag that seems to resemble the one we saw earlier. Mm. This hints at the potential of Sophie being an employee of either Bond's Burgers or Bunny Smiles Inc. Considering the fact that she seems to be Jack Walton's daughter, then it would make sense. Another thing I'd like to highlight was that missing poster, which confirms two things. One, that the image from earlier during the guest list indeed was Jack Walton's distorted face. And two, that something happened to him, leading someone to litter his photo throughout these tapes. Also, right. while the missing poster date is illegible, the captions confirm that the date reads June 11th, 1974, meaning that his disappearance occurred during the same year that the Bonds Burgers restaurant opened. Could this have been the incident that caused its closure? Considering that he was one of the two founders, it honestly wouldn't surprise me. It's so weird. Sorry, I'm like, I don't want to just sit here and watch this in silence, but like, I'm just trying to take it all in because there was a lot. There was a lot to take Earth in from these. Three. Taking place just after midnight on October 10th, we're heading down a forest trail. It's hard to make out in the video itself, but the person filming this can be heard in the background saying the following. So, this is the brand new caretaker for the old Bunny Smiles facility. I'm uh, recording this because the company requires some type of archives for the work history, something like that. I honestly have no clue because uh, I just started working here. I'm going there right now, but they gave me this weird location that's somewhere in this forest to work at. And I've been driving for 20 minutes, and I can't find the place. About a minute and a few video cuts later, they eventually make their way to that canine bunker. I'm not entirely sure why they have him working during the ass crack of night, but... Hey, <laughs> why would you call it the ass crack of night? night? Wait, is that and a saying? Is that a thing? Arrival. I've never heard that in my life. The ass crack? What? I've heard the crack of dawn, not the arse crack of night. That's weird. You're weird. Americans are fucking uses weird people. Well, they venture inside and observe the following. The smell was bad because dead people are down there and they smell bad. I don't... When he mentions that doll thing, I wonder what he's referring to. My guess is... Rocket. Sonic AXE, Sonic AXE. That way it was always goofy. I'm sorry, I never found that bit to be particularly. <coughs> what was that thing? 
and then he dies. The FNAF eyes. It does look like Freddy's eyes in FNAF 1, though, to be fair. He got smushed. He, they smushed him. I can't feel anything. He thought I was her. Brian Stells, you know what we haven't done? Um, how do you spell his name? Nothing. That intrigues me because there's not very much about that guy, so I figured there'd be something out there. Weird. Anyway. I can't feel anything. He thought I was her. Brian's paralyzed. He isn't dead. Yet. He thought I was her though. Is he referring to Sophie? Considering that she seemed to be dressed up in a work uniform that resembled Brian's, it would make sense. Mm -hmm. But that then leaves us wondering why. Why would Bond seemingly awaken and react so violently? mistaking another employee for what we can assume to be Sophie Walton. Why was he programmed to do this? Backing up to the beginning of that scene, we can overhear Brian talking about how the facility wasn't open for three or four years. Mm -hmm. For that entire length of time, the bunker was derelict and abandoned, banished to mother nature and forgotten. Interestingly, once he made it inside, we can recall that he made a passing reference to something called a relocate project that he claimed Bond would be good for. Which we know what the it relocate seems that project after is. After this long hiatus, someone at Bunny Smiles made the call to open K9 back up, which I find a bit strange considering that the information catalog had claimed that it would be closed for good. For what reason they're reopening it though? Well, no, that that isn't true. They didn't say that at all. They said that Bonds would be closed for good, not not K9. I couldn't tell you at this point. But Hi, what Jack. I do know I love is your considering the fact so that Bond had chased Brian out of the facility. Eventually catching Thank you. Room. Sorry, I, I zoned a little bit. Body. Thank you so much. Really do appreciate it. Thank you for the two months. Leaving him for dead. This so-called relocate project just might be the worst idea that Bunny Smiles has ever had. At least, as far as I know. I, what did he say? Might be the worst idea for dead. This so-called to him mangling his entire okay. body and leaving him for dead this so-called relocate project appreciate this prime the worst Thank idea you. that bunny smiles has ever had at least as far as i know I don't like the fact that the last one is weird. Yo, 269 subs! Thank you so much! This is another compilation of tapes from Bunny Smiles Incorporated. I was able to contact people via forums and threads that have some information. Hey, thank you for the three gifted subs. Appreciate it. These tapes revolve around some relocation. You did ruin this 69. I'm not going to lie. But that just means we have to get 369 now because of you. So thank you that was being executed during the late 1970s. A BSI ex-employee mentioned that the tapes were really private and only a few people had copies of them. Once the company vanished in the early 80s, all tapes regarding the project were banned and destroyed. These are super rare and I'm really lucky to have them. Hmm. The Relocate Project, Archive One. July 2nd, 1978. Part of me wonders whether I can just watch the decoding part. Because I feel like this is just a recap and we have literally just watched it. Can we just watch the ending part? Just the last, like, sort of 20 minutes? Just, will that, is, is that all we need? Because I feel like up until here, it's just, like, breaking it down, you know? 
I feel like I'm, I'm just made. I'm just. I just like. I realize we could be watching this for like an hour, but we can't. It's just a recap. It feels like it's mostly recap. Yeah, we'll we'll, we'll watch this, and if we can't make sense of it, then you know. But I, this I think the entire series appears to revolve around Jack's eldest daughter, Sophie Walton. Yes, definitely. She's the core. Yeah. The one that can maintain this ongoing status quo that Felix Crank has established, or to burn it all down if she so chooses. She was born into a family of three with her mother being Rosemary and her father being the elusive Jack. A few years later, two more siblings named Ed and Molly would be born into their family. However, due to events that Felix Kranken had a hand in, they would never, ever experience their coming of age. Mm -hmm. Felix was a family friend, someone that the Walton family could trust with everything, yet ironically, is also the main antagonist and the one that ended up killing all of them. On May 2nd of 1972, after being asked to do a simple favor by Jack Walton, Felix had become heavily intoxicated at that school party. As we know by now, due to this intoxication, the three became involved in a car accident that yep. ended up killing Ed and Molly. Beaten up and unable to bear the weight of his actions, Felix decides to bury them in a forest, the St. Juana's Forest, in hopes of hiding his mistakes entirely. Mm -hmm. As we know though, the children wouldn't rest there eternally, since a few moments later, we observed them merge into that rocket doll, appearing to utilize that as their medium to get their fate across to the viewer. One month and nine days later, on the 11th of June, Jack Walton goes missing. We can observe his missing flyer littered throughout every episode. However, at this point, we're unsure of what exactly happened to him. We have our sneaking suspicion that he could be stuffed in a bond the rabbit, me too. But as of right now, that's merely a theory. Another month passes, and Rosemary Walton's grieving over her missing husband and two children at Bonds Burgers. She was likely desperate, weak, and open to anything, any lead she could get on where her family might be. She hears a voice coming from backstage, mentioning that, I know where he is, Rosemary. Oh, he is. I'm an idiot. Voice that we now know was most I always read that as she. Daughter Sophie. She heads back there, hoping to gather any sort of answer to ease her mind, yet is greeted with the face of death. She becomes dismembered as some unknown figure observed from the sidelines. It appeared, at least to this silhouette, that Bond's actions were going as planned, as programmed, and everything was falling perfectly into place. But that's not to say that these actions didn't go unnoticed, since Bond's builder, Susan Woodings, had realized irregularities in Bond just 19 days prior. It's clear to us that he wasn't programmed to behave this way and likely was altered in some form or fashion. Whether that was by Felix or someone else is to be determined. But there was ostensibly a notable change before Bond's burgers ever opened. Right. And so, Susan Woodings is killed because of her realization. She knew too much and was silenced before she could ever get the truth out there. Just two weeks after her death, we observe yet another, five days before that of Rosemary Walton. We're unsure of the exact identity of this person. However, considering the list of names that Ashley discovered, it's safe to assume that his name is Charles. For now, right. his relation to the story is unclear. However, I'm betting that his job was in the same vein as that of Susan Woodings. Yeah, yeah, okay, that's or a fine. Programmer of some sort. I also didn't know who he was. So Perhaps that makes we'll sense. find out more information about him as this series progresses. But right now, that's what we can roll with. July 20th, Bond's Burgers closes after people reported screams that they heard around 2 a.m. Given the fact that Rosemary Walton was killed on July 19th, it's safe to assume that these screams were most likely her. Yeah, that was always what I it assumed. It seems to me that due to the attention that the restaurant was getting, Felix decided to pull the plug on Bond's Burgers, storing every animatronic inside a top secret facility in the St. Juana's Forest. He likely placed it there because that's where Jack's two children died and were buried. Either he built it over the spot where he buried them, or placed it nearby so we could check up on it whenever he was working. These are, of course, just theories. However, I think it makes a bit of sense. 
Yeah, definitely. No, that that anyway, I would assume that, feels that that's the reasoning. The like to cover up the graves, you build a factory on top of them. That seems pretty logical. Hi, nice plan to Two months, Bons let's burgers. go. Moving forward with the past. Hey, thank you so much. Buried behind him. Most likely, the only reason why he shut everything down and locked it up was to lay low for a bit, to let it all pass, and when people moved on, to bring it right back. Four years later, and the relocate project is finally in full swing. Facility caretakers are tasked with the most dangerous job out of all of them, reprogramming the robots themselves. Considering the lack of knowledge that came with Brian and Ashley, it's safe to assume that this facility caretaker job probably was a sketchy one. They likely received little to no orientation, no tours, and no heads up on what their supplies were actually intended for. Personally, I think that the extent of their training was to simply watch the numerous BSI tapes, watch the company introductory tape to learn about Bonds Burgers, watch the numerous archives within the Relocate project to become acquainted with our new mission, and listen to Shaw as she gives you a virtual tour of K9. So yes. interesting. If you're looking for stuff to try and uh, uh, enter on the website, try Rosemary Walton, Jenny Letterson, Rocket Bunny, Sophie Walton, Anticlimactic, and Jack Walton. I haven't tried Anticlimactic. Let's do that really quick before we carry on. Uh, find Jack Walton dot com slash anticlimactic but hey good things come to those who wait don't they oh okay that's interesting i like that you know there's no way in hell that any higher ups are risking their lives for this that's what the facility caretakers are for of course <laughs> and so after all of this is said and done we're left with one sophie walton Someone that we know was convinced to take a set of pills to forget that her family had ever existed. Oh shit! Oh, okay. Bra yeah, fuck. Yeah, of course. Shit. Yeah, if you just convince her to take pills, you don't even have to kill her. You're just like, hey, you need these pills, man. You got some fucked up memories, you need these pills. That makes sense. Shit, never thought about that. And this is where our mystery continues. To me. I really believe that Felix had a hand in suppressing her memories. He just couldn't stomach it. He couldn't kill her. Why? Well, at this point we're unsure, but it's safe to say that he's had numerous chances after the fact, yet didn't. And so, with Sophie, after the rapid succession of major losses in her life, she likely didn't know where to turn. She was lost and was plummeting into an ever-darkening mindset due to the onslaught of tragedies she's had to endure. Mm -hmm. Felix noticed this, and to shut her up, he likely decided to bring her under his wing since he's Uncle Felix, remember? He gives her a job at Bonds Burgers to keep her busy, pushes her to obtain a prescription that he likely claimed would help, made her watch these so-called internal BSI tapes that were littered with hypnotic vernacular. Safety of pills, Sophie. <laughs> and convinced her that, eventually, it would all go away. And it did. It did all go away. To me, that list of names now seems like it was some sort of a hit list. Just one piece in a breadcrumb trail that Felix was trying to bury. He wanted to move on from this entirely. He continued with the Bonds Burgers project years into the future, touting himself as the only founder of the company, quite literally cutting any mention of Jack Walton out of ever existing. Mm. The thing is though, is that whoever created these tapes knows something. They want Sophie to remember, and now that she has, at least as of October 16th of 1982, it leaves us to wonder if she'll be next in line to meet her demise at the hands of Felix Kranken's reprogrammed animatronics. Just like that ominous facility caretaker key. Yeah, that was weird. The sole survivor. The key is weird. The fact that they were given that key weirds me out. Sort of a key herself that can open and expose the metaphorical back doors into Felix Kranken's secrets. Doing this would allow her to finally expose his wrongdoings, ultimately leading to much needed accountability for everything that he did to her family. That is, of course, unless he gets to her first. Shit. 
So he's claiming that Kranken's the big bag, uh, bad, and also, like me, seems to agree that Jack is inside of Bon. Which seems to make sense. I don't know, it always feels implied. It always feels implied. I do wonder why he thinks Sophie was the one to kill off, um, Rosemary, though. Uh, that... I don't really get that. I, I want to watch that part of the video, because I just don't really get it. Afterwards, they move on to a new Relocate Project exclusive, which involves blinking. Ominously, the captions claim that employees would always- This bit. It's this bit that I'm curious about. Because I reckon... How odd, I remember we visited this room already. Oh, that's why. Shit, she just say Sophie, where am I? Oh, God. Wait, wait, wait. Why would Sophie convince us to go back there? Wait. Oh, that's weird. Oh, that's weird. I always assumed someone else l l lured about there. I don't know. Probably Felix or, or something like that. I forgot about that. Why would uh, Jack kill if he was inside of Bon? That's the thing. That also doesn't really make much sense, does it? Ah, oh, no. I figured if you're if if I got stuffed inside of a robot and I was all freaking out, I might do something I regret. I oh, don't know. I just figured it was something like that. But why would Sophie leave lead about that? By the time the lady entered the backstage, as the voice told her to, missing husband wasn't there. Instead, she found a rat. Rose Broken will fix you. You will be beautiful. You will be beautiful. You will be beautiful. Skip it in a little bit. She looks beautiful. I want to see what he has to say about this. Showing us the basement, we briefly see a photo of Vaughn and Shaw together, almost like they're a couple. Shaw appears to enter the backstage. You see, but that's what I'm saying, though. That's what I'm saying, though. Notifying us that only facility caretakers should be shining lights on the robots before leaving that room, only to make her way back to the basement. Afterward, she expresses confusion, claiming that we visited this room already, utters the words, Sophie, where am I? And then walks southbound once more into what appears to be that silhouette figure from earlier. We then see a cartoon version of what we can assume to be Rosemary, with a strange voice giving more context into that reversed audio from earlier. Instead of finding her husband, they claim, she found a rabbit. Bon, the rabbit. Mm -hmm. After claiming over and over that you will beautiful and you're broken will fix you. You will beautiful is very funny though. Rosemary, In fairness, you will beautiful does tickle me. Into Shaw's body. Shaw wakes up and expresses that she looked beautiful before we see yet another shrouded missing persons flyer. After brightening this one up, we can clearly see that it's for Rosemary Walton. July 19th, 1974. I'm beginning to see a pattern. Here, we have a poster for Rosemary, who we know was killed and stuffed in the Shaw. Earlier, we witnessed one for a Susan Woodings, who appeared to possess Banny. And at the very beginning of the first episode, we saw one for Jack Walton. Considering that he's been missing this entire time, the fact that Bond was one of the first alive animatronics that we witnessed in this series, and the implications that came with that photo of Shaw and Bond, I'm starting to get the impression that the Jack Walton corpse is, in actuality, stuffed inside of Bond the Rabbit. This is, of course, just a theory, but it leads me to wonder, if it's true, who exactly did that? Mm. Let's move on. Yeah, it's weird, man. But no, overall, I'm not going to watch the whole thing because that honestly, a lot of it's recap of stuff I already kind of understand and have watched since we literally just finished watching it. But it's weird, man. Um, it's really weird. The only thing we are now going to watch because I've heard apparently um, it exists. Uh, there is a two minute 40 video called The Walton Files 4. Keep an eye. Uh, and these are all the teaser images for the new Walton Files 4. 
We're not going to watch Matt Fat Pat's film theory. Uh, I don't want to watch all the... I just thought I'd watch one theory at the end just to clear up a couple of things I thought about. Uh, I will watch the trailer for four, though. And then what we can do, maybe we'll watch Matt Pat... So basically, when four comes out, I'll watch it on stream. So, if Matt Pat... Um, it, it, sorry, I, I can watch Matt Pat's theory, like, on that day, if that makes sense. As well as I said, I'd watch all the non-canon stuff as well. So when we go to watch Walton Files 4, unless it's like... Th- five hours long we'll watch other stuff alongside it as well but i want to watch this trailer first i think it, but this is kind of this is my last walton files for today There was a lot to take in there. Take me out of this dark and night. You know what a little light can do? You change the sky from black to blue. Sun, shine on me today. Sunshine, come on, sunshine. Let me have one of your rain. Just one. Oh, that's what it is. Cause some of these are creepy, man. Just. Who are you? You make the trees and flowers grow, and you can make my troubles grow. Sun, shine on me today. Oh, what's that picture? What is that of? I don't think this is a trailer, is it? This is just all the teaser images. Oh, no, this is a video. Okay, never mind. weird man it is weird i don't i don't ugh. i'm very hyped to see what episode four brings there's a lot of unanswered questions that i'm looking forward to getting answers to genuinely like the just the idea i just want to know where jack walton is that's my main sort of like thing but also sophie sophie's involvement prior to losing a memory because like it does seem like she lured her own mother to her death which is very weird very weird I also just found it really weird throughout how they always refer to Ed and Molly separately to Sophie, despite the fact that it's the same, like, they're all siblings, but they always, like, speak about Ed and Molly, and I assume, maybe it's just because there's, like, a big age gap or something, but it is a little bit weird, it's almost like she's been disowned, I don't know, it's just weird, just really weird, maybe one uses other people's voices to lure people, potentially. This is all really unsettling, genuinely, this will be one of the first times in ages where I'll go to bed and, like, feel, like, on edge. Because I'll be in the dark and alone. Like, I, I know full well I will. Oh, it's creeped me out. It's a weird fucking video. Ugh. Ugh, why do you make me watch that? Ugh, I don't like it. I don't like it. I'll see you all soon, everyone. Take care. Have a great night. Bye-bye. <laughs>